Let's see, so for a quick recap, uh, you were doing some side quests for the uh, Grey Hands faction, which is led by the Black Staff. She asked you to check out a dragon that was seen in the harbor, but it, uh, so yeah, and gave you guys some uh, potions of water breathing to go uh, ask you what's going on. Um, on the way to the harbor, a crate was dropped near the docks, <clears throat> and a gazer came out shouting uh, that it uh, was there to kill uh, Zarda Zord, uh, which you guys put uh, filed away for a second when talked to a dragon, found out it was very friendly. Um, I actually wanted to uh, see if you could help me get some treasure out of a shipwreck, which you guys did. Um, then you went back to, uh, uh, Zavra, uh, the Black Staff, and, uh, not only told her that the dragon was friendly, uh, but, yeah, told her about this, uh, Zardoz Zord, uh, guy that, uh, the gays have been shouting about. Uh, she suggested, uh, why don't you go, uh, see what you can find out about these, uh, shifty characters, uh, it's a, uh, Three boat uh, circus that seems to travel up and down the coast. Uh, but yeah, she said, uh, see what you can find out. And, uh, you know, if, uh, if you don't find anything out, just uh, go, you know, confront the guy, see what you can figure out. Which, after, uh, you know, staking the place out, you uh, walked on board, talked to some of uh, the captain of the ship. He talked to his boss, and uh, then you guys got invited uh, to go uh, talk to him. And then, uh, let's see, I guess to start us off, if you guys want to all do a perception check, now that you've been on boat for a while and things like that. It's a boat! Oh, I'm still on, I think I can't get logged in. Okay. Uh -oh. To Foundry? Yeah. Okay. Let me try again. It shows you as being there, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you logged in. Yeah. Uh, putting, are, are we just on a strange screen then? It's oh, just a... Uh, I don't have... Yeah, it is a background here. <laughs> Let me pull you to the boats. Ah, okay. <coughs> Chithrix, how do you keep doing that? <laughs> do what? <laughs> just... Natural ones straight off oh. the bat. <laughs> I get him out of your system now. Uh, let's see. Pickle would see it. And we'll see if uh, uh, Curious notices. Uh, let's see. So with a 15 perception check, uh, you notice most of the uh, crew members speak common with an elvish accent. And you notice that a couple of them exchange hand signals when they think nobody's looking. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. These hand signals, is it anything that Pickle would recognize or... Not specifically. Or she um, sees his hand signals. Right, yeah. You would yeah. think it was some kind of sign language, but you wouldn't really understand much beyond that. Uh, but yeah, the captain says uh, to you all that, uh, yeah, I've talked to Zord, <laughs> and uh, he says that uh, he wants you to come over to his flagship. Uh, it's the eye catcher uh, over yonder in the uh, horizon there. And, uh, yeah, you see a pretty, you know, uh, pretty much the same style ship you're on, just a little, a little fancier, you know, a little gold filigree around the, uh, figurehead and things like that. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, he tells you, uh, so we have a jolly boat strapped to the hull, uh, unfortunately, uh, all my men are a little bit busy right now, uh, you'll have to row yourselves over there, and... He says this a little overly loud, and you see a few people hop to attention and start swabbing decks and things like that. Uh, he says, here, we'll help you uh, push off uh, one of the boats. Tritrix happily climbs down and into the boat. 
Pickle is not entirely excited about the idea of going in a boat because she gets incredibly seasick. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, let's get let's get on the boat and start rowing. Yeah, we're I think just like since they've got four arms to row. <laughs> Paddle in I each mean, pair. <laughs> Paddle in each pair, yeah, we can, we can get there in two sweet. Uh, yeah, you cover the distance uh, pretty quickly. <laughs> um, and yeah, you uh, approach the boat. Uh, this one looks a little more like a yacht than the uh, two utilitarian boats they had uh, that were uh, pulled up into the docks. This is the boat that I did my flyby over, isn't it? It is. Mm. Yeah. Right. Oh, I still have your token on dark vision for some reason. Turn that back to basic vision. Thank you. <laughs> I can't get on. Oh, yeah, I'll fix that too. <laughs> Maybe here? No, nope. I think I just put up terrain walls there to Makes so you sense. guys didn't ah. commit suicide <laughs> or something. Uh, but yeah, you're greeted warmly by uh, the people there. They uh, say, oh yeah, we uh, were told you were coming. Uh, the master's through uh, this set of doors over here. At the uh, oh, Let me get the ping going. Uh, this set of doors over here. Was ping not working? Oh. Is it these? Interesting. Yeah, it's not. That's weird. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, well, let me look at my modules. I'll well, see why not. Well, we'll figure it out later on. Not worried. Uh, yeah, but he'll uh, usher you towards the the store over here. <laughs> Say uh, he's at the end of the hall. Perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome, uh, uh, ma'am. Yeah, he it's, called, uh... He called me ma'am. <laughs> no one ever calls me ma'am. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it looks like pretty standard ship. Where are we going? I think it must be this hit door <laughs> straight ahead. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, let's see. Inside, you see. Uh, the dining cabin is bedecked with golden filigree. The purple curtains festooned with silken tassels. The wood paneling scented with perfume. A magnificent feast laid out on golden platters sprawls atop a mahogany table of exquisite craftsmanship. Even the dollies are something to behold. <laughs> Standing behind it all oh, with wine glass in hand is a well-built, scantily clad man, his scarlet apparel designed to accentuate his trim figure and bountiful chest hair. A flashy raper, <laughs> rapier hangs at his belt. <laughs> A flashy oh, uh, what? Uh, <laughs> I do not need to see that. Wow. Uh, um, <laughs> welcome aboard the eye catcher, he says, flashing pearly white teeth. Zardoz Zord, at your service. I can see why you called it that. Have you uh, no shame in front of a lady? <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am, if I've offended. Uh, but yeah, these are my uh, companions, uh, Kafieta and Margo, and then this is Captain uh, Terry Wind of the Eye Catcher. 
All right. Uh, Chishux looks at all three of these. Do they look like they would be at a an expensive party or kind of a regular party from her experience here or just a seedy uh, party? So the captain is very stylish and suave, well-dressed and clean. Um, the two ladies, uh, let's see. Uh, Cafieta is, uh, looks like an acrobat from the circus. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Margo is a uh, lyrist, which I assume plays the lyre. Yeah, I would think so. Uh, but yeah, they look like uh, yeah, per probably performers. Uh, the other looks like a uh, yeah, pretty well dressed. Uh, you know, on the handsome side, uh, captain. Right. We'll say you know on the younger end of the spectrum as far as captains go. She walks. She walks right up to him. Hello, I am Princess Chitrix. Oh, princess. Uh, he'll take out your hand. Uh, you know. Uh, Hold it. Yeah. Probably not bring it up for a kiss, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> she does a proper curtsy, and uh, she goes, So, your animal got loose. Bad. Animal? What animal are you uh, speaking of? One I wasn't with aware. She kind of <clears throat> holds all four hands up like eyes. Animal with <laughs> eyes. It, it drinks it in the back of holding. We've got that box. You know, the one it came in with the writing. She opens it up. Yes, Lady Pickle. And she pulls out the, the box fragments, and throws them on the table. <laughs> your beast! Loose! Yeah. <laughs> I take it yours or the sword. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm the uh, proprietor of this circus. Oh. But uh, I don't know what beast you're talking of. We we keep more mundane things here, you know, elephants and lions and tigers. Well, we was coming through the market to go and find the dragon, and there was a geezer floating about saying he was going to kill you. Whoa. I, ooh, kill me? How do you know he wanted to kill me? Because he said, Zard the Zord, I'm coming to get you. Right before we killed oh. it. Oh. Tastes so, terrible. The big you... fl floaty death balloon we shot it. Oh, well, I guess I, I seem to owe you a debt. So this assassin was calling for my name? Yeah, there was a bloke running around and he had that box in his wee hands and he tripped and fell over and then this floating eye with stalks on his head popped out and started screaming at you. Huh. You were able to take care of that? Are you, uh, he kind of looks you up and down, Pickle, uh, <laughs> warriors? Adventurers? Are you part of the guard? Where, where'd you come from? Who do you, who do you work for? I'm, I'm just a pickle. I deliver a meal for people. Chichuk's looked down at him. I am a princess. I do not work for anybody. <laughs> She's got this very, you know, like the classical music, the, the ridiculously, you know, uh, <laughs> snooty music playing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, he goes from confused to more of a, oh, I'm, I'm sorry to offend. I, I. So we have a, a male lady and a princess just happened to be going to find a dragon. That's, you, you all are a very interesting group and... What what's your story? Uh, he looks over at Karis. <laughs> Karis has just been staring the ladies down <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Just the behave yourself. <laughs> I, I just I'm just a hired hand. Or, you know, lips. Ah, well. What's your going rates? Could are are you for hire? Yeah, for a uh, what the hell are those things called again? Goldheads. Gazer. Gazer. Ah. Gazers. Yes, for a gazer, I would be available. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
yeah, I, I think we I understand can... that you can get them. I, I, I can't. Oh. I, I don't know where. I, if it was trying to kill me, I, I, I don't. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm just a simple yeah. proprietor of circuses and such. Hmm. Lying is such a poor way to start a relationship. <laughs> well, I I don't think you all have been completely truthful with me either. We're a band of adventurers. I see. Looking for a way to make a profit. Well, a princess must have quality companions, Chitrix says. <laughs> And I'm the uh, quality test companion that's ever been. <laughs> well, uh, if you guys are looking for work, I could, I could probably be a pretty uh, powerful patron for you. Um, looks over in Wink's head. The which one is it? The Cafeta. Yeah, he just uh, like totally ignoring him now and just looks over at Cafeta and smiles and winks. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, she's uh, polite, but a little terse with her, uh, uh, you know, acknowledgement, but not uh, doesn't seem to be welcoming to it. At least not with uh, Zardoz nearby. You know, she looks at him first to see if he saw the uh, you. Is uh, all right. Chitrix uh, sees the liar and immediately just. Crawls right up, you know, like insect style, all the way up onto the table, straight down the table, and over to this open spot onto the floor, and then stands back up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pulls out her little pipes, and, you know, her whole body and the, the, the whole show just starts performing uh, as much as she can of a sea shanty. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, takes her a second to figure out the tune you're going for. Uh, let's see here. She literally stops mid mid midway. <laughs> just immediately stops, looks at her, goes, "Chitrix, no, not your music, please lead." And then she continues <laughs> on. Kiss, kiss, dance with me, dance with me. <laughs> And, of course, I will bow and take her hand. Thank you, Mr. Kiddis. Pickle goes bouncing around. <laughs> Give me a second, I'll find her stat block and see if she can uh, perform. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, hoo -hoo. Uh. oh. Mm, she's fancy. <laughs> well, yeah, I... no, it takes her a second to find the uh, the tune, you know, uh, figure out the tune. But yeah, the second uh, round, she joins in. And I perform uh... right back. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so yeah, now we're in two part harmony. So all right, and yeah, that's. Uh, I'm just gonna play yeah, for the duration. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Zardoz is impressed. He starts clapping his hands to the tune. Uh, he'll probably grab a ca cafeta and, uh, you know, to whirl her around a few times. Oh, yeah, so we have a little musical number in the midst of this adventure. Just everybody dancing Pickles. around. <laughs> Pickles singing along in Undercommon. Pirates of Penzance style here. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, uh, so after it dies down, uh, Zardoz goes, well, that was, that was actually uh, pretty fun. Uh, but uh, I also value some other things that I think you might have, like bravery and uh, quick thinking. I'm thinking with my uh, connections, I could be a valuable patron for you. Uh, he smiles with a sly grin, and uh, you see a twinkle in his eyes. Uh, humor me uh, one simple test. I dare you to do something wild. Oh, that sounds like fun. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Well, uh, there's this uh, item, a uh, personal item being carried by a young uh, nobleman, uh, Regent uh, Regnant 
M. Cartha. Uh, I think I would like you uh, to see if you could maybe uh, pickpocket his handkerchief for uh, a little bit of a uh, trick I think I'm going to play on him. I've been telling him now for a week that uh, I have magic powers. And if you could uh, maybe steal his, uh, you know, uh, handkerchief, the uh, one with his initials on it uh, that I can produce later, it might be a fun uh, jest. Uh, and then I was thinking as a further test of your fortitude, uh, the handkerchief should be delivered to a hideously deformed tiefling girl who lives in a crate on the corner of Net Street and Dock Street. Oh, that is wicked. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might. Oh, let's get you that. Let's get you that. Churchill just looks over at Kiris, and you hear this voice, basically, or just like this this question: Do we? <laughs> oh. Back to, back to her said, "Sure, why not? We could either get a really powerful uh, patron out of this, or we could turn him into Blackstaff and get even uh, more prestige with them. So either way, it works for us. Oh, uh, one thing too, Chithrix, since you speak telepathically, mm -hmm. when you first uh, speak to Zardoz, you seem to get a... It's a very rare feeling. It feels like you've come across a, a door... A door that, you know, is briefly there, but then is opened, and uh, you can speak freely to uh, Zardoz, but it just seemed like for a moment there, you were resisted and then allowed to come in. Ah, interesting. Hmm. And Tetrix immediately zooms back to him as this sinks in, and after mm -hmm. talking to Kyrus, um, you know, she, she goes, she goes, you speak with mind before. <laughs> I, he says, not exactly. I've uh, come across others that do, and uh, you see him kind of absentmindedly uh, fiddle with the ring. Hmm. I've uh, certain ways to uh, keep my mind closed if I need it to be. <clears throat> well. If Chitrix could smile, she would, but instead she just kind of glows like a really cool bunch of bright colors. Uh, like she's all excited by that, hearing that. <laughs> and she's like, so, this not hunt to death. Oh, no, no, this is a friend that I just want to play a, uh, a trick on. <laughs> really, I just think want you to... You know, uh, pickpocket the handkerchief. Hmm. If trap, we sing song of hunt to death to you. <laughs> <laughs> he just chuckles and lets that go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, have you tried this wine? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I remember what happened the last time I drank something like that. No, thank you very much. <laughs> So, um, I, I look again at Kyrus. We need anything else? Uh, I think we need to find out where this person's at. And then uh, to... Where was the last time you saw him? Yeah, he's actually uh, pretty uh, known in his routines. Uh, he likes to socialize and gamble most nights in The Gentle Mermaid. A luxurious uh, spot near his family's villa. Is that like... Is that like the place we went to before, Mr. Keres? No, no, I don't think so. We went to the afterlife. Was that not where we were? Yeah, that is. Uh, let's see. But uh, you're from anyone who has spent the majority of their life in Waterdeep, which is Pickle, uh, would know that the Gentle Mermaid is an exquisite gambling parlor uh, situated just west of the high road, founded by Solomore and Hassendler uh, streets. Uh, it is a fancy establishment that has gambling, but it's not the casino you just heisted. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I know where that is. I know. I could take you there. And what was this person's name again? I... Uh, it is, uh... 
I get it's R E G N E T Regnet. R -E -G. I'm thinking Regnet. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like yeah, that's what it sounds like, yeah. Uh but yeah, he says that, you know, he's usually somewhere in between his house and uh the gentle mermaid. Uh, you know, he he's not very uh, adventurous. Alright. <clears throat> And you said this uh, tiefling girl was at what corner? Uh, yeah, she lives in a crate on the corner of Net Street and Dock Streets uh, in the Docks Ward. Oh, nobody should live in a crate. Oh, we, we, need, we need to go and help her. Give her, some, give her something clean to wear at least. Well, I think we have everything we need now. This should be simple. Oh, well, here, before you go, uh, he throws a pretty heavy purse, uh, you know, slides across the table. Uh, I suppose you'll have some expenses, you know, like game or drink. Uh, but, uh, you know, this uh, you can put towards that. And then, if you were to count it out, you would uh, find it was just 50 gold. Yeah. yeah. Just 50 gold? <laughs> yeah. This is... Uh... Uh, yeah, I, I do uh, count on your uh, discretion. You know, even if uh, you uh, you know, if you do somehow fail, uh, I'd really appreciate you not dragging my name to this. Oh, don't worry. We never saw you. It's, it's only a bit of fun, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. I'll go ahead and pick up the bag, drop it in my pouch. Seeing this is, and I assume as everybody moves towards the door, Chitrix just turns to Margo and goes, let us play together again sometime. And goes to the door. Bye-bye, ladies. Bye bye, Mr. Zord. Yep. Bye bye, <laughs> Captain What's <Watson> Jigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the three wave politely at you, uh, Zardoz. Uh, Zog. Yes, I can't wait to hear uh, your success on the matter. I'll see you soon. Uh, song of victory. Mm -hmm. I just wink at Kafita as I'm going out. Yeah, you kind of overhear the, them going, no, I like them. They seemed interesting. And, you know, things like that before the door closes. Bye-bye. Oh, Mr. Kirish, do we have to go back on that little teeny boat again? I, I, fear, I fear so, yes. Oh, I don't, oh, don't, I'm going to be sick. Well, it'll only be for a bit. As she's leaving, she just performs that song that she learned for everybody as she goes by. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's pretty good. They seem to like it. You know, you catch a couple of them humming along as the earworm gets in their ear. Bye, bye, boat people. <laughs> boat people. <laughs> bye, bye, boat people. <laughs> they, they wave back at you. All right, let's see. So. Stuck in a wall. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't have a map to do the place justice. Uh, but give me a second, I'll give you the description. Oh, no I guess I'll just use the city map for background. Oh. But yeah, after reading the description, I'm just like, oh man, I can't find a map that's ever going to hold a candle to this. <laughs> The Gentle Mermaid, a huge balconied and turreted four-story stone structure, occupies the entire interior of the city block on which it is located. It reeks of wealth, if not sophistication and taste. The interior is lushly decorated with carpets and tapestries on nearly every surface. In addition to be magically lit, the interior of the building is also magically heated and cooled, providing a welcome comfort, no matter which season your campaign takes place. Uh, it does seem to be the, you know, couple guys at the door. 
you know, the whole bouncer type. All right, well, since I'm still in the, the nasty robes, I go up to one of them and I'm like, must change. Place to change inside? Uh, unfortunately, we can only let you inside if you're wearing uh, nice clothes before you get here. There's a bit of a dress code. So be it. And she starts undressing right there and <laughs> takes out all her fancy dress clothes and getting dressed right in front of the club. <laughs> Oh, okay. They seem to be a little <laughs> perturbed, but they're not stopping you. All right. So, fortunately, Pickle <laughs> has just had her makeover. <laughs> so Pickle looks like proper fancy. <laughs> and yeah, of course. Now I, you know, very quickly do too. It's, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they say. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I'll just have to ask you uh, check your weapons, and they. Hold out, you know, a, a lockbox that would be big enough to put a sword or something like that in. Um, I put my whip and my rapier and my shield and my crossbow in there. Chink, oh. chink, 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 chink. <laughs> I'd probably let you keep the shield if you wanted to. It's just weapons they're after. Um, I hand over my dagger. Yeah, pickle hand. <laughs> the side rogue, okay. Yeah. <laughs> sure, whatever. Pickle hands in her longbow and her short sword. Excellent. Uh, yeah, here's, uh, they hand you little tickets with numbers on them. Just uh, bring these uh, to the uh, bellman. He'll uh, return those, or uh, the coat check. Guys, I'm 42. I remember <laughs> reading a book once with the meaning of life was 42. <laughs> what's, what's the meaning of my life? Anything you want to? What part of this? Oh, oh no, what I was going to say. city is this in? Uh, yeah, yeah. I believe it was the North Ward, which is kind of the new money and uh, kind of side of town. A lot of manners and things like that. Uh, yeah, I guess it's just not on the map, huh? No, yeah. Oh, this okay, is, okay. Uh, yeah, we're in. Uh, let's see, where would I probably peg it? Actually, I think it did have streets. Uh, let's see. Does it name the street? We can hunt. <laughs> just, just west of the high road, they said, but that's about the only thing I caught. Yeah, let me pull it up again, because I think there actually was, like, cross street. Okay. Oh, actually... west of the high road. Okay. So I'm there. Where was that? That would be here. Oh, no, wait, that was in the DM supplement. It should be over here. Sorry, I got like 10 windows open right now. <laughs> I believe it. The The main bit, they split up into three different parts in like the book book, so I just have that as web pages open, and then I got a DM supplement to flesh out this quest. See, that's the real reason I play Call of Cthulhu, because you just <laughs> make shit up as you go. It's, the, it's, mm -hmm. it's great. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, let's see here. So, the Gentle Mermaid, luxury spot. The Gentle Mermaid is just west of the high road, bounded just west. by Sulamore and Hassanter Street. Okay, it's right by the word North Ward. It's probably in that first block right there by the end. Okay. I found it, so... We Pickle, would, Pickle would definitely know where this is. That little building in the very middle of the block, you know, so surrounded yeah, by its own to... little businesses. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. It's your fancy strip mall. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Nice side of town. Uh, but yeah, you see it's a pretty busy establishment. Uh, Seems to be, you know, several gambling tables, big bars, but yeah, this is four stories tall and just takes up a city block. So a big mega bar. Mr. Trixie, can I go play games, please? <laughs> we must do job. <laughs> but I, but I just know, but I want to go play a game. Um, please, let me go play a game. Maybe your we have, job... We have, uh... 
after after our job, I'm sure we can let you play some games. Oh, okay. We we need to we need to focus on the job. Okie dokie. Alright, so we must say the people who have lived in Waterdeep for a while can do a history check if they oh, can <laughs> uh, to see about spotting them. Um, if not, feel free to do uh, like a persuasion or intimidation uh, to maybe ask around for finding this guy. Nope. Or I guess investigation <laughs> might be another one. Um... Yeah, I'll let you investigate. I'll just I'll too. just hit up my guards. All right. Okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, hey, who is this guy? Right. Where, where, where is do I guy? find him? You know, <laughs> he come, he's, he's he's got a routine then, and we're just you know we're just needing to talk to him. So yeah, yeah. You know, where's he at? And you yeah. don't forcefully arrest this man so he can steal his handkerchief. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That is valid. That um, is a prank. That is, that's a, that's prank one into the other. We can, we can right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, let's see. So yeah, they do uh, tell you. Um, you know, they they uh, would know his family colors and crest. Um, they'd give you a you know a description of him. Uh, let's see. Uh, in addition to sporting the latest water Davian high fashion, he usually wears an ostentation silver fringed red cape embroidered with a blue flame containing three silver crescent moons. So they're like, yeah, it's, you will see him a mile away. He He's wears about a cape as subtle as a two by four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your head. yeah. <laughs> He's kind of asking for it. <laughs> Hey, I'll, what? I'll give him a. I'll give him a, the guard a goal to split amongst him his squad mates. Oh, Kiddis. thank you, sir. Mister Kiddis, why has that man got a sundial on a chain around his neck? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, seems to be you know uh, from afar he looks uh, gregarious and maybe a little bit drunk, but yeah, he's having a good old time. Arms around the people next to him, you know. Uh, I'm going to be sneaky. I am going to sing. Uh, she looks at Kyrus. Tell me when to sing. Okay, so I was busy deducting gold. Where are we <laughs> in the? Uh, we're in the uh, establishment. Yes. Or are, yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm just kind of hopping around. But yeah, you've gotten the description. You're in the establishment. You've seen him from afar. Oh, okay. So we're like in a bar, basically? Yes. A fancy bar. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. I get it. We're, okay, so we're there in the fanciest Yeah, bars. we're in Cedar the Mine, so I'm kind of yeah, yeah, not yeah. No, doing like, transitions, but I can work a little more on that. Okay, all right. So yeah, we got dressed up, turned in most of our weapons, and then uh, mm -hmm. spotted him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so anybody here good at picking pockets? Um, that is definitely not me. Uh, my job will be to get his attention. I can keep it focused on me and make him do something stupid. You guys can <laughs> distract him. He'll never even know I was there. You want him to fall down? I'll make him fall down. You want him to, you know, something like that, something simple? Yeah. Um, you want him scared? <laughs> you want him mad? Tell me what you want. <laughs> I could just cast command on him and tell him to give me the hanky. Uh, I think we need it to be more subtle. We can't really be seen until later. Okay, Maybe. I'll be sneaky. Um, I can hide under all of these tables. If I get his attention and just perform the shit out of him and just keep him distracted <laughs> as hell... We could be done. <laughs> In and out. <laughs> how, how many people are around him? Um, let's see. He's sitting at a gaming table, so I would say eight. Okay. It's a handkerchief. Well, seven. We'll say it's an eight-side table, yeah. All right. I'm all right. going under that table. And if I, you know, I'm trying to gauge this. If I'm, like, you know, pretending that I'm drunk... If I hit somebody at one end of the table, do you think I can do it with enough force so I can get him pushed into him so he'll like spill his drink on himself? Yeah. 
I would say that would, yeah, make sense. I don't think they're giant oak tables or anything. So, yeah, I would say that would be viable. All right, I'll find a... I'll find a bar that's not uh, a bar that's not too far away where I can grab a drink. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, they are probably on the high side of things. Where to put my DM screen? Oh, because I was actually DMing, so that's in the mobile. Oh, man. Yeah, so uh, my uh, had kind of an on and again, off again, like, you know, whenever schedules aligned, which was like every three to five weeks. But one of my players just had like a newborn baby. So it's just one of those, okay, well, we're going to do one more push, get you guys out of the underdark so we can have a pseudo happy ending. But we're, <laughs> we're halfway through out of the abyss. Jesus. All right, <laughs> let's see. So yeah, I would say that's on the high side. So we're going to say eight silver. Okay. I give him a gold. <laughs> All right. Yeah. No, they're, you know, take it. But they're kind of used to getting tipped pretty high. This is a fancy yeah. establishment. So it's just kind of taken. And, you know, you get a nod and a smile. Uh, yeah. All right. And then I'll, when nobody's looking, I'll kind of like splash a little bit of it on me. So I smell like alcohol. Gotcha. And then, is there one end or that has a young lady at the end of the table or not? Um, sure. Yeah, yeah. We'll say the the side he's on. There's a, you know, he's a pretty friendly guy, so he has one uh, hanging on him. There seems to be another more reserved one on. Um, we're gonna say the other side of the eight sided table. And about halfway in between is, um, we'll say there's a dealer for this game. So, yeah, there's a dealer on one side. And looks like you probably slide in. You know, the table's not filled uh, to capacity if you were trying to uh, get a spot at the table. Well, I'm, what I, here's my plan is to saunter up to one of the girl, the girl that's at the end of the table. Uh-huh. And, you know, start drunk flirting. Okay. And then, then just, you know, and fall kind of and just push her into our guy and make him you know her spill the drink on himself so he's gonna have to ah. just do something about it yeah okay um yeah that you could definitely do uh yeah she would make uh some small talk uh, but do i don't know or something social like perception or, or not perception sorry persuasion, persuasion or possibly deception if yeah, deception being, it's yeah yeah yeah, yeah deception more is one of them for me is um just straight I mean, up yeah i mean it could be you know you're just a horned dog and she's pretty so it could be an honest i'm gonna flirt with you as well and that well this is true this is true i'll do i'll do a persuasion because i'm not you know it's, I'll flirt with almost anything. <laughs> um, it's in so... character. It's just all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. Don't we don't have say anybody. With me. We don't have anybody who has, has guidance, do we? <laughs> we do. We, yeah, there, well, we there's do. a couple options for that. There's a couple options. I can give you an, a bardic actually. too. <laughs> yeah, I can do a bardic inspiration for you on top of that. <laughs> oh, I think bardic. Yeah, one d six. I think so. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Um, yeah. So. Enjoy your guidance. And can I add more than one? Yeah, it can stacks. You it plus. Uh, yeah, I don't see why it Oops, wouldn't stack. Thing. Why didn't I? No, I mean, first, I'm going to try to do it on the roller here. Oh, uh, yeah, you might have to add individual dice. I'm not quite sure if uh, Founder yeah. is smart enough for that. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that works. Okay. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, I would oh. say if yeah, she is at all interested in your species and or gender, you are the most charming person she's <laughs> run across in a while. <laughs> Is Trixie, am I going to have to prepare a ceremony for tomorrow? <laughs> Yeah, she's already so do you live around here? Uh 
<laughs> there are certain instinctive reactions even Chetrix understands. And she literally just kind of goes off to uh, and drags Pickle off a ways. <laughs> What did you watch? <laughs> <laughs> and we'll do this little flirty thing, and then, you know, I'll be like, oh, what game is this they're playing? I'm not familiar uh, with this one. I'm not from around here. Oh, uh, yeah, she says, oh, I don't know. It's uh, eight bluffs or something. I don't really pay attention. I just kind of put in the minimum ante and uh, mostly just use it as a people, uh, excuse to talk to people. We'll let this go on for a little while, and then I'll like be, you know, like I'm like I'm acting like I'm a little ang nervous, not nervous so much as just mm -hmm. and have a lot of energy. I'm just walking around, just edge, you know, just chit chatting mm -hmm. with her and stuff like that. And then I'll just like trip over my own foot, right, <laughs> and push her right into the target, right, which I guess will make that a. Uh... I guess a performance role to see if you can fake trip. You know, it's kind of an acting in my head. What's the distance of that bardic inspiration? Inspiration. <laughs> um, performance is not my best. Um, literally, if I can hear your thoughts, pretty much. Um, cause, uh, but yeah, we're definitely right. close enough. So I don't know if it'll let me do it if I can't target you. So um, I'd say you can target him. There. Oh, so that he won't let you. Uh, yeah, so oh, there it goes. Thirteen. Yeah. I would say it's fair. I mean, you've also put in work of you know spilled beer on yourself, so I would say it's fairly believable. And uh, yeah, uh, you see. Uh, I'm like oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah. The uh, <laughs> dealer seems to be a little bit annoyed by you. Uh, you know. I tried uh, to grab her before she falls. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's... So they push her harder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she she seems to be a little upset. Oh my gosh. Uh, but uh, yeah, dealer seems to be a little upset that you know everything's getting moved. Ships are sliding around. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they... says, "Oh, uh, hey, w watch yourself." Uh, if any chips what, what fall on the floor, can pickle scurry about and <laughs> grab them. <laughs> sure. Do a, do a little sleight of hand check to see if uh, you can pick up some chips without any people noticing. Nope. <laughs> oh, that was so close. <laughs> oh, here, I was yep. just collecting them for you. Oh, yep, yeah. Yep. <laughs> So Don't worry, you, I've got them, I've got them. So you reach out for a chip and grab it, and then all of a sudden a boot steps on your hand very gently. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, picks up the chip out of your fingers, and then... Uh, Stepping on a poor little 12-year-old girl. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Where are your parents? Is, whose oh, no! child is this? <laughs> Lady... <laughs> Chitrix comes running up. Lady Chitrix, apologize. And <laughs> takes her by the shoulder. <laughs> come, come, come. <laughs> One mustn't cause trouble and walks her off. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Don't walk her too far off. She's got a pickpocket the person. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, now she can, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, Chitrix goes, get upset. But only I hear am this. Upset. <laughs> Very upset. <laughs> and then she starts singing a song like she's trying to soothe the temper tantrum having child. And yeah. And she starts an enthralling performance. <laughs> Ooh. Did it uh did it show did it take? Well, well, I'm not I, do. I am familiar with the enthralling performance. Yeah, uh, I have no idea you have what to, that is. It is. Well, you have to play for thirty uh, minutes. No, one minute. <laughs> it's only one minute. One minute. One minute. <laughs> so I, at this right. point, I, I'm singing a song that will, you know, do things. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. I, I have to sing for a full minute 
So yeah, it's, I am now like in the middle of a thing with Pickle. So Pickle, you need to play back at me. <laughs> That's what oh, you need. Yeah. 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 just keep saying, get upset. <laughs> He stood on my hand. He's... So, yeah, I... Pick Pickle starts throwing sacred flames everywhere. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, no, no, wait. Scrap that. <laughs> Scrap that. I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. What was that? Uh, okay. And how? <laughs> like... Oh, Pickle Lord. is going to, if you you know when they cry in cartoons and it's literally flooding out the side of the <laughs> out the side of their eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> horrific, high pitched, little girl scream with floods of tears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh... I'd never seen that work in a game before. Holy shit. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm just right. high enough to DM's really gonna enjoy have to this. DM's going to buffer for a second. Give okay, me, I, I, a I, second. I, I need to have a cigarette with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to log into voice. I'll be back. <laughs> wow. Yeah, give me a minute. I got to think this through. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Oh my fucking god. <laughs> well, I can wow. tell you, you're getting banned. Oh. I have a feeling they're not going to let poor Pickle back into this establishment for a while after this. <laughs> I want to come back. They stood on me. <laughs> uh, now, this, this is perfect, actually, in a lot of ways, because... Just fix some lady They people. can apologize by having to mop their own floor. Yeah. That, yeah. It was absolutely not weird things to happen at all. So it's 10 oh, you gallons. Know, of... and if you, you could, can you, uh, why is that a, oh, that's a level two? Uh, level level one. one? You could upcast that, can't you? I don't have second level spell slots Oh, you yet. don't have second level, uh, do we not have? Yeah, multi -gas. Oh, you multi class, multi yeah. Okay. That's great. It gives a little bit more. <laughs> it has 88 pints of water <laughs> at level one. Mm -hmm. And it goes it goes 30 feet. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking there's definitely be a scene. I don't think, like, guests would react much more than, uh, we're the, or, you know, more of a surprise thing. <laughs> I would say it would probably take Roughly a minute before the staff would be able to like mobilize and you know crowded establishment things like that. Yeah, I mean it's like, it's absurd. Yeah, but yeah it works. <laughs> like between like yeah, it's one of those the the blackjack dealer whatever he is you know it, it's not his job he's already annoyed by this, but I'm thinking it's taken some kind of bouncer person about a minute to probably get over there so yeah i would say your little performance is probably wrapping up about the time some security guard says ma'am you i don't know where all this water's coming from but you're you're gonna have to leave hmm. he, he, he stood on my hand well um, i'm i'm very sorry about that but you're you're creating a, a and he's kind of squishing his feet in the carpet a, a, a huge mess oh. all right he is the target. If the performance is wrapping up, he's the target mm -hmm. of one charm attempt. And uh, the main guy <laughs> that uh, you know we're trying to pickpocket is the other target. Gotcha. Um, so yeah. you'll have to roll that for me, but yeah. Right. 
Uh, let's see here. <laughs> So oh, be and while I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to stand back up, and I'm actually putting my hand on this woman's breast. Oh yeah, you're. And, <laughs> and oh, wink, 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 nudge. Ooh, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, that probably worked pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's see here. So, if memory serves; those are wisdom saves. Actually, let me look up. Look at your character sheet real quick before I start rolling stuff. Uh, I bet that's gonna be. Once per short rest, you can choose 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 two creatures that watch and listen to your performance for one minute. Each target makes a wisdom throw DC twelve. It's charm for an hour. Okay. <laughs> so we'll say the target of the pickpocket will go first. Uh, wait, he would probably... I should pull up a noble stat block for him. It might not work, but you never know. Handy if it does. <laughs> it's like, woof. I like that. Oh, it does. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Then Man, there's a lot of 19s rolling around today. Oh, did he pass it? Yeah. Wow. yeah. Okay. 21, unfortunately. Damn. Right. Uh, yeah, because it'd be plus two. Yeah. And okay. then the guard uh, would be, you said that was the second target. What? Yeah, he's completely enthralled by it. <laughs> <sighs> that brute. Nice. I'm, I'm so sorry, ma'am, but... Uh, uh, here we'll we'll have somebody clean this up, but I I, I I'm sorry you got your little hand squished. Uh, do you need a band aid? Oh. It's in my bag. I need to go and collect it. All right. Well, if you need anything from me, just let me know. Okay. Okay. Miss Pickle, I cheer you up. We sing a song, and then I just do a regular performance. Okay. And I, you know, we'll kind of sing and dance our way over, you know, just around the tavern and then eventually over behind these people. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, just Pickle. work your way indirectly over there. Yeah. Pickle starts singing in, I'm going to say, Aquan, and little bubbles start popping. <laughs> when she was, instead of crying, she's now making little bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, yeah. Ideally, I'll be kind of flanked as far as I can from Curious, like the opposite side, and uh, trying to get this guy's attention in a good way, you know. I gotcha. Um, yeah, I mean, I would say if you want to do performance check to see if you can be distracted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you roll that? Uh, uh, yep, I'm happy to. Awesome. Uh, looks like you got some guidance as well. I think that's the best use of a first level spell slot I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's so... Nineteen, yeah, mm. he seems pretty f sufficiently distracted. Uh, he's saying, "Oh, that, that's that's beautiful." And you just hear, curious, you hear a voice in your head. He is mine. Do what you need to do. And, you know, kind of keeps performing. Like it's supposed to be Pickle doing this. She's the pickpocket. <laughs> Pickle, go. Right, um, DM. This is a question. If I sneak yeah. under that table, uh huh, is that would that class as dim light because I get advantage on stealth checks? Yes, I will say so. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Under a table, I feel like that'd be a dimly lit establishment. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. You feel pretty well hidden. 
Okay. You know, it's uh, one of those uh, ugly uh, carpets that, you know, already is kind of an abnormal pattern to hide the stains. So, yeah, you blend in very well. And I will uh, try and make, make my way to this individual that uh, Chistrix has got enthralled, and uh, I will mm -hmm. attempt to pickpocket. I think you could get, right. you could get advantage for him being enthralled. Uh, I'm lowering the DC because he is... Uh... Paying attention. You can guidance yourself, right? I can. Nice. I need that spell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It kind of depends on the DM. Uh, when I was playing with Red, he'd only want me to use it like once a day. I'm like, but it's a cantrip. Yeah. I'd be able to use it all the time. And it's only a D4. Yeah. Uh, like it's right. it's a D4. huge swing. <laughs> yeah, like 2.5 on average. Like, that's really not going to break the game if I have a 2.5 to an ability yeah. check. That just makes it fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you really want to crack down on it, you can just say it has to be touch, you know, because that's what it's supposed to be. But Right. A lot of times, you know, that kind of slips by the... Oh, dang it. Uh, yeah, no, so the good news is the DC was 12 already, but since he's distracted, I was lowering it by 3. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, so you do, yeah, you do the thing. You, uh, <laughs> let's see, well, he has in his back pocket, you feel very stealthily sliding it in, or I guess uh, he's sitting down, so it'd be a side pocket. And you pluck it right out, you don't see any reaction from Ooh. him. Try and shuffle back. I'm not going to push my luck and try and fish around for anything else. I'm going to just grab that and go. Voice in your head says, get out. Go, go. Now stand up, pulling the young lady up with me. Flirt a little bit more with her. Turn to the, to the table, to the dealer, and flip him a platinum. Ooh. Ah, he says, Hi, thank you, sir. Sorry uh, about you're... the problem. Oh, it's it's quite all right. You're... These, these things happen. I yeah, thank, trust thank I you can, for coming. I trust I can depend on you for describe, for just being discreet so my um, <clears throat> wife won't find out about this. Oh, he yeah, just gives you a wink and uh, uh, you know, taps the coin, puts it in his pocket. Pickle crawls out from under the table and goes and stands next to Chitrix. Miss Trixie, I saw something weird while I was under the table. No, I don't want to know. You know that lady that Mr. Keris is with? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a lady. Do you know why Keris thinks about that? He doesn't care. <laughs> Should we tell him? <laughs> <laughs> so Chicks is like, go, we go. And at that point, she, um, it, the, the, the guard that she did charm, she cast command on. Just one word, sing. <laughs> okay. The command's a six second spell, so. He does sing the first verse of uh, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. Oh, wait, what, what's going well, on? As soon as, he, as soon as he does that, I start playing that song. <laughs> <laughs> so and I, use that to make my, this I, I give a bow as I start to make my exit. <laughs> <laughs> and in the chaos, you do. <laughs> and Kira just saunters out. You know, flirting with all the pretty people as it goes by. <laughs> Just taking this time. Yeah. yeah, we walk out. It's a night on the town. We're going to go back and give the guy the handkerchief. <laughs> no, we've got to go and no, no, deliver we've got it. To go to the, deliver it to the ugly tiefling girl. Oh, okay. Well, we go to wherever the tiefling is, you know, in a carriage or something, hamming it up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You know what? Uh, that was so much better than playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yep. Mr. Keres, Mr. Keres, yes, oh, that, that lady you was with. All the single ladies? You, you, you dig the nice one that you was flirting about with. 
One with the nice ones with the nice breasts. That wasn't a lady. Well, they had some really nice breasts if they weren't. Okay, whatever floats your boat. I just thought you want to know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Long as you know, we're good. Oh, oh my God, this is fun. This is the <laughs> biggest game I've ever played, but one of the most fun ones. Well, thank you. Uh, uh, but yeah, you mentioned quick. wanting to get a uh, carriage, which is easy to do. Uh, yeah, I think it's only like ten, a uh, few silver. Oh, and I'll just wave one down. <laughs> yeah, it's like hello. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, can you call Doc's Ward, please? <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, you'd be able to, since Pickle's a child, you'd be able to fit in just one, uh, let's see here, let me refresh my memory on transportation. She just will just put Pickle in her lap. Miss <laughs> Trixie, Miss Trixie, Miss Trixie, can I borrow the broom? <laughs> She's going to start taking it out. <laughs> I can slide. You hand it to you. Do not break it. <laughs> I'm not going to break it. Have fun. I will. Zoom. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah, you guys take some of those uh, carriages from the picture and you see uh, Pickle, you know. Briefly here and there, zooming about uh, as you fly around, uh, you do notice. Actually, do a perception check for me, uh, Pickle. Perception. Oh, nice. Pretty darn good. All right, let's see here. I dodge incoming pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that. Uh... Here, you don't gotta read all of this, but you are briefly followed by the Griffin Calvary. Uh, but yeah, there's a uh, Griffin Mounted Police who, you know, briefly follow you for a bit and then decide you're fairly harmless little girl on a, you know, magic broom. <laughs> like, yeah it's just normal <laughs> yeah yeah i mean in the city like this like they they would take notice uh but yeah is that a, really is that a problem officer? <laughs> uh no ma'am just uh going a little fast this is a uh 35 uh i don't know probably wouldn't be mile an hour furlongs whatever they use for using the measurement here Oh, is it only 12 brooms per second? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just slow it down a little bit. There's there's no rush. You have your whole life ahead of you. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go towards it just a bit slower. <laughs> As we go by this scene, Mr. Trix just leans over. <laughs> Lady Pickle, in the carriage, now! <laughs> I'll, do the Griffin Cavalry have the dancing light spell and it flashes red and blue? <laughs> uh, no, but just a fun little lore dump that I love about them. They all have rings of feather fall, so they are prepared to jump off their Griffin and then like nosedive into you and tackle you midair. <laughs> and then activate the uh, ring of feather fall on the way down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Leave the nice police alone. In. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you with <laughs> no other issues, you make it down to the uh, dock ward. <laughs> And then uh, you go to the pl uh, place, uh, and then, yeah, uh, tucked into uh, the corner of Net Street and Dark Street, or tucked into Keel Alley at the corner of Net Street and Dark uh, Dock Street, uh, formerly containing a shipment of rum, 
Uh, there's a little girl in a crate. Uh, just, the crate is just large enough for the nine-year-old girl to comfortably sleep inside. Um, you can see uh, there seems to be a threadbare blanket in there. That seems pretty empty. Uh, and then let's see. The, as the characters reach Ed uh, Fair Tencent, which is her name, uh, you overhear uh, her finish telling a fortune to two swarthy human women. <laughs> and let me pull. I do swarthy have women. a map for this. I do like those, don't you, Mr. Kellis? What? Like what? Swarthy, swarthy women. Swarthy women. <laughs> oh, certainly. <laughs> swarthy is fun. You guys are oh, okay. coming around the. Uh, you'd be able to see it though, so you'd need to be over here. Yeah, you're coming around the the square here and getting to uh, earshot. And let's get a little bit of ambiance. Let's see, we're by the docks. And then uh, let's see. <clears throat> But yeah, you overhear one of these swarthy women as you get a little closer saying, You shouldn't say that about him. Uh, the young girl says to the uh, rougher looking of the pair. After all, he seems to please that one. And Oh, I got it. Sorry. Uh, so the fortune teller says to the uh, swarthy person, uh, You shouldn't say that about him. Uh, after all, he seems to please that one, pointing to the other sailor, and frequently. Uh, which the swarthy woman replies, You brazen little urchin, uh, she roars, making contact with a ham-fisted swing that knocks the poor orphan off her crates. And then we'll have everybody roll some initiative. But yeah, that you was rude your... of them. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Cannot stand. <laughs> uh, oh, nice. How the hell do I roll initiative? <laughs> oh, uh, you go over. There's two cross swords for combat. Yeah, encounters. I am in combat. Oh, that's right. I got to roll it on the combat then, table. Sorry. I'm really stoned. <laughs> you're all good. Right. So that puts us at pickle at the top of the round. Let's get something more combat feeling. All right. Pickle. What's angry. <laughs> yeah. Pickle. <laughs> You're offended. Uh, you are triggered. <laughs> oh, you did not just punch her. Ugh. <clears throat> I'm not even going to bother taking cover. <laughs> like, I'm incensed. <laughs> so I'm going to see this woman that's mm -hmm. just punched this little girl. She's mm -hmm. now my favoured foe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll say yes, yeah, the one on the left. Oh, I forgot I can't ping. And she's getting shot. No, she isn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. She doesn't even notice. It's just that far wide. And I'll finish up my movement about... Yeah. Alright, um, mm. let's see. Those are some swarthy-looking women. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I didn't have the right token. Uh, that, that's a woman named Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. I feel like they're just beating her, so it wouldn't be a weapon attack. Um, so let's see. Unarmed strike would be what? Just like a... Yeah, it's usually like one of the items 20. in the... It's uh, usually the first I item in your inventory. They should have that. Oh, wait, NPCs, I don't know. Yeah, here, give me just a sec. So, 
So it would pretty much be the same thing as the strength check, because you'd add your strength to a d20 roll. Oof. Uh, so yeah, dirty mm -hmm. 20 will hit. God damn. Uh, do the strength modifier amount of damage, which would be two. Uh, so she just got her clock cleaned. Uh, yeah, that's definitely gonna be a black eye in the morning. Um, yeah, now we'll move to, uh, Kiris. So, the, the girl just below the, directly below the swarthy woman is mm -hmm. the, on our side there, that's when getting the, 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 she, she just got, she just got clocked, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's just a commoner token because I didn't get a unique one for it. But yeah, that, I'm saying that the commoner uh, token that's a woman is the tiefling girl you're supposed to meet. The okay. two oh. generic thugs are uh, thugs. Okay, so... Uh, Kira sticks out his hand right, and his weapon materializes in his hand and then he... A swirl of uh, shadow surrounds him, and he disappears. And he reappears right here uh -huh. in a swirl of shadow. And he will cast Arms of Hadar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The ten feet, they have to do strength saves. Alright, so the one that will just punch is going to go first. Oh, nice. <laughs> Alright, and then the one that hasn't had a turn yet. Oh, shoot. Well, Does they yeah. save, but was it 2d6 damage? Nice. Whew. Oh, so boy. That one takes 12. Then the other one would take half, which is six. And the one that failed can't take any reactions until next turn. Okay, no reactions. Okay. Yeah. Not that that's going to do anything, but... <laughs> and, uh... I think... That is going to be it. Although, because I uh, teleported, yep. I have Ooh. resistance to all yep. damages for right now. Ooh. Yeah, Shatter Kai are one of my favorites. Um, okay. So let's see. And that'll see. be my turn. All right. So I'm going to say next is the uh, thug. He's noticed his friend got attacked from behind. So he's going to... My very creepy black tentacles. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. Brush yeah, the back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, so he's going to go at Kyrus, and which would give the urchin an opportunity attack, but would she? Let's see. She seems pretty feisty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like she would at least do something. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get just for fun. She pulls Take out him in. Uh, a the balls rock. From behind. Yeah, that grabs Ooh. a loose cobblestone <laughs> and uh, misses. Uh, well, still. Yeah, it misses with the rings loose off the helmet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. So yeah, he's gonna turn his attention onto Kiris after turning around, and he's going to attack with his uh, mace. Fifteen hit. Yeah, that's my armor class. Okay. Oh, wait a second. And he has an ally within five feet of him, so he actually gets advantage. So I'm just gonna roll that just in case. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. 
Alright, so damage. Two. Yep, because it's halved. Oh no, he did. It's, it's three. Right. Uh, let's Which see. And then he has multi attack. So another mace attack at advantage. 14 hits you? Nope, misses. Okay. Got a 15 more request. <clears throat> Alright, so that would be. I don't think they got anything bonus action wise, so that'll be the end. Chithrix, what would you like to do? Uh. This guy just wailed on him right there. That's all really she knows what's going on. So she suddenly drops into that dark, deathy hum of hers. Mm -hmm. And she just, see, that's what, 20 feet to there. And mm -hmm. targets this guy with a crossbow. And <clears throat> attack. Fourteen does hit. Yeah, he just has some leather armor on. So five damage. Um, I think that's really all I can do. Yeah, for now that's it. All right. And she's just humming an angry tune, just staring at these two thugs. You know, to to her. They're just animals to her hunting. Right. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so now we're at the tiefling girl. And she's probably going to just start backpedaling since uh, she's not quite sure what's going on. But luckily, uh, the thug in front of her can't take reactions. Uh, so she gets away scot free. Actually, you know what? She's oh, wait. probably going to dash. Yeah, she's going to go all the way back there. And then we'll go back up to Pickle. Right. Um, you'd see Pickle put her longbow away. And her little platinum dragon symbol starts glowing. And her eyes catch on white fire. And she sprints full force into the woman that just clocked this child. Mm -hmm. And literally just like s s running super Superman punch. <laughs> and puts and inflicts wounds into her. No. <laughs> Does an 11 hit? An 11 is their armor class. Get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> That's 16 necrotic. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh... And an extra D4 because she is my favoured foe. Oof. So that's 18 total. God! Right, uh... No fun with a child punches back, is it, you fat bitch? <laughs> <laughs> and as the black necrotic energy flows across uh, her arm, she looks really hurt. It's ow, 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 ow! Yeah, fuck you two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Alright. And now it's her turn and she's gonna say get back little demon child and uh <laughs> going to attack you. Uh, does 11 hit? Probably not. No, nowhere near. <laughs> Alright, multi-attack. Uh, gonna take another uh, hit, or attack 17. Nope. She goes, what? 
Where did they come from? <laughs> what what's going on? And uh, and uh, her turn. Uh, Kyrus. <laughs> Kyrus will spell uh, use um, Hexblade's curse. Mm -hmm. Um. To uh. Yeah, what does that actually? That's the one that gives me a two just plus two damage. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I crit all on a nineteen or twenty. And then I'm going to um swing my sword. Right. Using booming blade. Okay. What the hell's that zero damage? <laughs> what? How'd you manage that? Um, yeah, I'm not uh, too. I'm, first time so I've used the, this. Uh, on, yeah, it's essentially uh, a it's, weapons attack to yeah, see if I mean, it hits. It's like a 1d6 thunder damage if they move, I think. Yeah, what you have to do with a um, booming blade is you make your weapon attack first, and then you do your thunder damage. A seventeen for sure hits. God damn! Wow, wow, that sucks. Seven <laughs> points of damage, eight points of damage. Yeah, um, eight points. And then, of course, if they move at right. least five feet, they will set off yeah. a. Um, Right, the booming damage, yeah, yeah trigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, that'll be my turn. Alright, so yeah, there's that one's turn. Um, oh, I forgot to add plus two damage tag. for the. I um, forgot to add plus two damage for the Hex Blades curse. Right, okay, I'll take two more off. Yeah, not looking good, these two. Um, but yeah, they're still a little... Inc Would they run? Well, oh, no, see. you don't. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be smart. <laughs> oh, I did yet to try. I mean, they're, they're not looking good. Uh... Pickle angry. Pickle smash. No, they're gonna they're gonna fight it out, uh, okay. you know, a child, an elf, and some kind of bug monster. Uh, <laughs> like where you lot get out, stay out of this. And then he's going to probably attack Kyrus, uh, you know, uh, since he just traded attacks. Um, so that's gonna be a mace added. Advantage because he has an ally. Battle hit. Okay. It's full damage now, of course. So seven points. Mm hmm. Then second attack. Oh, yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> Damn! For seven more. Mm hmm. Then we're at Chith. Okay, uh, this guy just wailed on him, and uh, mm. yeah, Chistrix is outraged. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, she takes one step forward, <laughs> gets right in his face, casts Thunder Wave. <laughs> oh boy. And yeah, there's just a. Oh wait, does that hit that us would, as well? Yeah, that would hit pickle. It would. It would. It's a 15 foot cube originating from. Uh, it's from, from you. you. So it would hit everyone. So I couldn't. Oh. Yeah, what? I would say you know you could cast it in front of you, but pickles on the other side of that. Oh plane. yeah, I definitely wouldn't put. Okay, all right. Um... Yeah. Just seems out of character for you to do friendly yeah. fire. Yeah. Mm. All right. Um, let me take a good look. Um, 
Yeah, she's still going to target this this guy, and only this time up close and personal. Yep, really getting in his face. Yep, and yeah, I'm going to... Where is it? Whack that bastard with my rapier. Mm-hmm. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Not today, Bugman. <laughs> she flails wildly in her outrage, missing anything. <laughs> All right. So then we are at the little girl's turn. Who? She's going to probably head over here. And we will go back to the top of the round of pickle. <laughs> got two guys on either side of you. Uh, uh, well, either I'm, side. I'm just focused on this woman in front of me who thought mm -hmm. it was fun to punch a child. Mm -hmm. Right, She's... yeah, makes sense. I'm guessing that doesn't hit. <laughs> Uh, no. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just this angry, incandescent little pickle. <laughs> yeah, uh, she's kind of poking you with the sword more of a, get, get back. Don't, <laughs> stop. Don't get oh, back. <laughs> uh, but then swings the mace out of frustration. Uh, 15 hits a pickle. Nope. <laughs> oh. Does a 23 hit a pickle? Oh. Just. <laughs> <laughs> She's not even really exaggerating that much either. Seven. Seven. Yep. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we have Infernal. <laughs> Oh, you picked a bad time to get lost, friend. <laughs> Alright, uh, so curious what you like to do. I will do my little teleporting mm -hmm. back to here and then attack the one in front of Trixie with yeah. a uh, Eldritch Blast. Yeah, okay. And yeah, and right. that's a that's a, a critical because they're right. under my hex blinks curse, and right, nineteen right. or twenty is a critical. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. oh, a critical hit. This critical hit. Melt him. <laughs> then the extra two damage from the the curse as well. So Jesus. that would be twelve damage, which is enough. Uh, this one goes down. Now, no more adventure now, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my turn. All right. And then it goes to the thug's turn that is uh, already passed out. So now we're at Chethrix. All right. Uh, so this guy's down. So yeah, I'm not targeting him. Um, this other guy um, that's still standing. Is he like in tentacles? Is what I'm seeing. Um, I feel no, that like that was only lasts a round. Oh, so that he... one, no, that was just an instant attack. That was yeah, an instant like thing. A, oh, okay. Like yeah. So it he's in a circle. Yeah. So in a circle around. Uh, 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 gotcha. Giris, gotcha. He saw oily black tentacles, but it was just... like a five foot radius. That so it just grab all it... of a sudden. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So, if I move to here. Right? Uh huh. And then I take a disengage action. I can keep moving, right? I just don't get to do yes. an action. All right, so. Correct. You still, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, our job is the girl. That's who I'm looking for. So, I don't know where she went, <laughs> but I'm going right. after her. Okay. Like, and, and everybody just hears in your, a voice in your head I find the girl. Yeah, that's not curse scare <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, yep. 
and that's my turn. So. Uh, oh wait a minute! No wait! No wait! No wait! Yeah, that's it. That's all I can do. All right. So now we move to the girls' turn, and we will go ahead and. Oh wait! I guess the dice kind of gives away what I'm rolling, doesn't it? Uh, that's right. We'll just grab physical dice. Uh oh. Okay, physical <laughs> dice. Hey. Hey. Let's see what would be in this pocket. All right, D twenty. Bingo. Ooh, okay. All right, uh, so yeah, NPC takes her turn. And uh, we'll go back to the top of the round. Pickle. Okay, Pickle. Still squaring off with this woman. Takes out a short sword and goes for the knees. <laughs> <laughs> it's serious now. <laughs> Twelve hit. Twelve dead. Yeah, that's right, it does. <laughs> and actually, you don't have to roll if you don't want to. It has two health, so oh. there's no way you can't <laughs> kill it. Uh, so yeah, it goes down, and uh, you you feel the danger is abated as combat ends. Pickle is going to lean down to this woman. I don't know. If, I don't care if she's unconscious or not. <laughs> your life belongs to you, but your hand belongs to me. <laughs> And I will take a hand off at the wrist. God damn. Oh god, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, she wakes up from her unconscious state, screaming loudly. Oh, don't and worry. dying from blood loss. <laughs> don't worry, I'm a doctor. <laughs> I know exactly She's how to very am worried. your hand. She is very worried. <laughs> oh. Pickle's eyes are still glowing, by the way. She hasn't calmed down yet. <laughs> Two six to start finding this girl because I don't know where she went. So, right. Yeah. Uh, feel yeah. Do a perception check for me. Alrighty. Oh, nice. That is actually high enough. Uh, she had rolled a, a nineteen, no modifiers. So I was thinking Ooh. it'd be hard to find. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you see her kind of, uh, cowering behind some garbage cans, uh, over, over here. All right. Well, she's in range, so I'm like, uh, we have something for you. Told to meet you. And she just comes skittering right up to her. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. <laughs> Do a persuasion check a to tomato see. At you. Yeah, do, do a persuasion <laughs> check to see if you can persuade her that you've come to the rescue. I mean, she did see you. Okay, oh, I think yeah. I got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what I do. Thank you for saving me. Those, those people were awful. They just told me they wanted a fortune, but if, if you don't like the fortunes I give you, well, well, that's, that's your business. And she's kind of, you know, touching her eye and, you know, gently trying to. Mm -hmm. It's already starting to bruise. You can see it swell. Maybe learn how to lie. Be safer. <laughs> Play smarter. <laughs> and uh, she waves to Kyrus. Mr. Kyrus has thing for you. And waves him over. Uh, but yeah, she goes. Th th thank you for 
for saving me. Uh, were you guys just passing through? You, you said you had something for me? Yes. Do you know Mr. Zord? <laughs> I, I do. Uh, wh why do you ask? He has a special plan going in, and we have something you need to take back to him. I, okay. What kind of thing? I, I have it all wrapped up, so she can't see what it is. All sealed in like a some kind of envelope or some words we have back then, and say this needs to be <laughs> delivered to him unopened. Uh, she'll take. Chick Cirque here will be using her telepathic ability to track you, just so you know. Now she'll she'll take it and put it in her belt and uh, and just uh, tell you without making eye contact. He's not who you think he is. Maybe he's not who you think he is. Maybe. Go now. He waits. Yeah. Uh, I give her a gold coin. <laughs> <laughs> She, uh, yeah, she started going back to her crates, uh, but after seeing the gold coin, she looks at it and sighs, takes it, and says, I'll go now. <laughs> Good girl. Do job. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she will, uh, scurry off the map. Yeah, the church is going to ask you, job, job done? <laughs> that all? Yes, uh, pretty late at this point. I'm going to say we're, you know, oh. well past sunset. We'll put it at 8 o'clock. Definitely after dinner, but not late, late. Oh, I if, do. okay. um, don't forget, everyone, you've still got your life berries if you need to heal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I can do a song of rest for everybody. You can... Is it to eat one of the? Is that a bonus action, like a potion? To eat it's one? an action. If you if you use it in combat, it's an action. But you can eat as many as you want out of combat. Oh, that's right. And they right. heal one point, right? No, they heal four because I'm oh. a life cleric. Oh, they heal four. Yeah, everyone yeah. should have thirty points of healing. Um, I don't uh, think I got hit once, did I? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's because I drew all their attention. Yeah, yeah that you did. Well, to be fair, Pickle has an AC of 20, so it's yeah. just, I, I tried. Yeah. No, <laughs> but even with advantage. <laughs> Pickle's a monster. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, it's a very strange formula, but it does seem to work anyway, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I'll let her tank from now on. Oh, man, that's hilarious. Who's right in front? Yeah. Who's your front liner? Yeah, Pip, Pip. Oh, we got a 14-year-old or, you know. <laughs> Little Pickle's kid like that does the front. Yeah, yeah. Pickles, like... Pickles, twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Who's What's your... the difference? Who's your meat wall? Yes, yeah, so I'm twelve year old. <laughs> yeah, Pickle went beast mode. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, if I was like, you know, I mean, you figure that you get to the higher level, um, you know, underworld shit where they're hiring you for a job, and this is what you see, <laughs> and they come highly recommended. <laughs> Bright pink bug, a uh, what goth uh, elf, and uh, a child. Oh my god! Like, yeah, a really? redheaded child. Uh, I mean, that, that would be Irish. <laughs> if we knew what Irish was. Yeah. Yeah. Redheaded stepchild, nonetheless. Yeah. Oh no, it's hilarious. <laughs> I love it. Uh, uh, we have right, to. So we go back to our place and rest up, and then. See Mr. Zord in the morning? Yes. Yes, indeed. Tetrix must rest. Need energy. Need food. I need to get rid of some angry. I'm angry now. <laughs> um, yeah, Tetrix is going and she's like hitting the scrap bin in the, uh, um, what do you call it, the, the butcher shop there. Um, yeah. She literally just kind of brings in a scrap full of scraps or a bucket. And she's just eating it raw out of a bucket. <laughs> um, 
And yeah, that's what she's just going to clean up and to cast off yeah. things to give the neighborhood dogs and stuff like that. Yeah. Seems yeah. like he's a gruff, reserved man, but once you warm up to him, he's very kind. Yeah, she uh, she gladly pays him for the stuff that he would be throwing away normally. You know, just a certain amount, you know, nothing ridiculous. And it's like, you know, just takes take. And, uh, you know. With little, no, uh, you know, trouble. Whoa, I'm dropping out. <laughs> what? Hold on. Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, my boundary connection just dumped. Yeah, oh. mine did as well. Oh, okay, okay. So, anyway. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, interesting. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Ah. Uh, it's going to be hard to stay subtle. <laughs> Somebody's going to put this picture together pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love it, but, you know, it's, I think we have to obviously just be who we are. <laughs> yeah. Lean oh. into your strengths, yeah. Oh, the thing is, Pickle can't pretend to be anything other than Pickle. She is, like, brutally honest to a fault. And Chistrix just doesn't know any better. <laughs> yeah, that's the same. Pickle, Pickle just doesn't know any better. Like, yeah, I mean, you know, so this is how they do this here, huh? Okay. And, and Curious is sitting here thinking, I'm, I'm with the Raven Queen. I'm going to die and be in, with her sooner than later. <laughs> I might as well just get used to it. <laughs> Yeah, Pickle, Pickle needs really to see really risks. Watching. I just go home if I die. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, he's really kind of he, he's like a character from H.P. Lovecraft who's also <laughs> basically very horny, you know, kind of hedonistic in the moment, nihilistic, <laughs> um, you know, with eldritch powers on tap. What the <laughs> fuck, man? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is a crazy ass combination. It's fun though, uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Ch uh, Chitrix is eating a lot and eating a lot of weird stuff and just cleaning up and just freezes in place, as right in the middle of everything where she's. That's where her rest is going to be. I gotcha. Um. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you uh, return to the lair. Uh... Let's say Zashi's been playing with his new snake this whole time. Oh, when'd you guys leave? I, I didn't really hear you go. I don't want to know what he does with that thing. <laughs> He's way too friendly you. with it. And then, uh, let's see, Perexes, uh, you just pass him. You see him in the blacksmith shop. Uh, you know, really sweaty. Uh, looks like he has the... The basics of a, a Iron Man suit from the first movie where he's in the <laughs> desert. No, it's, it's coming together. I just need to move the servo here. Oh, Pickle, man. Pickle walks past Perexis as he's like, You look like you could use a hand. And throws the severed hand at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, Kevin's going to love this. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'll be right uh, back, guys. Hold on. No problem. Yeah. Oh, man. Actually, we can probably take a little break yeah, uh, yeah, now yeah. that we've done some combat <laughs> things. Probably a good oh. time for a bathroom break. All right. Yeah, no oh, worries. God. And I'm going to have to get those together soon anyway. <laughs> okay, back. Oh, I was just saying we can probably take a little bathroom break now since we've done oh. some combat and things like that. It'd be a good time for a little ten minute break. Okay, cool. Yeah, I had some cat aggro I had to deal with. Hmm, gotcha. I'll be, be back in a few. Okay. Whew. Uh.
Yeah, I live in an apartment, so when I go outside and smoke during the game and I'm talking, I think my neighbors think I'm insane. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy man talking to himself again. Uh. <sighs> Oh, my call of, the Cthulhu, call of Cthulhu game is coming together nicely. Nice. We just, we just hit our second session, full session, and I did individual session zeros with every player. Oh, yeah. That's probably good. Really yeah, nail down backstory, to... make sure they understand the uh, game and stuff. Well, make sure I understood the game. I never GM'd a Call of Cthulhu game, and I went 100% homebrew, of course, because I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. It's it's fun. It is a lot of fun because I yeah. put it in I put it in historic Portland. So like, I'm going and looking at the places that I'm writing the story. Yeah, well, easy it, to get it, good it's inspiration. Backpack. Plus, Portland's pretty cool because they have uh, was it the old Shanghai tunnels and things like we that. We have all kinds of shit. We were built on you know right in downtown Portland is where the old uh, you know. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, God, there's some Salish. There were Salish villages of the Salish native peoples. We're now part of the Grand Ronde, and it's like this whole. And there are granges which we can put them in. I've got all this stuff, and like they can go and look at the places where their characters are interacting. You know, hundred years before. So it's fun. It's nerdy, but it's fun. And I get to describe just the most horrific things. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's horrible, man. I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the heebie jeebies. Good. All right. Uh, but it's funny. It gave them a lot of freedom to build into the story. So, like, they're all completely entrenched in the story. <laughs> you know, their characters are are they are the backstory for the game. yeah yeah that would be kind of cool where oh yeah my character grew up in this neighborhood that i know intimately because i lived there a few yeah. years down the road so yeah it's pretty cool because and what's cool is this group of people that i'm playing um mm -hmm. through the game all actually know each other in real life they're all friends and they've rpg together for years oh nice yeah, so they've got this. They've got their dynamic all there. It's like, right. okay, this makes it easy. Yeah, yeah, that does make it easy. Yeah, they already know how to work off each other. Yeah, and so they're not they're not establishing that. They're just running with it, and they're just they're letting me be part of it, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really fun. It's like, all right, what do you want to do? <laughs> Who do you want to be? Tell me. Uh, but I can't get really high while playing that game. God damn, they yeah. keep going. <laughs> I had one oh, character really roll much. two ones in a row. That's in D and D. That's you know yeah. unheard of. You know that's like, <laughs> you know, that, that's when you double crit. You know, it's just that rare. Right. And it was right about important storyline crap. So I basically had to rewrite the story around what he found. <laughs> it isn't supposed to come till much later. It's like, ah, oh, shit. How do I make this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How's this gonna affect the uh, the multiverse? I keep in my head of all the possible choices they might make. Yeah. See, I, I thank everybody else because in this game I can just get high and let you kind of point <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, as a bard, it's just I'm here to make other players better. What do you want to do? And I will give you some inspiration. Yeah. Uh, I mean, she's no slouch. She's, you know, <laughs> she she has a stinger. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, not like, god damn. Perexes is going to be fun as he develops into it. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway. Ah. 
I'm going to be making matzo balls while I play for a while here. <laughs> <laughs> I can multitask, it's no problem. Uh. All right, sounds like everybody's back. So, yeah, we're going to say uh, you have a good night's sleep as normal. Uh, All right. Let's see, that'll put us into the next day. Which is going to be the thirteenth of flame rule. <laughs> Fourteen ninety five, just so you can orient yourself. Oh guys, it's nearly tax day, isn't it? <laughs> See for me that's just as alien because I'm stoned anyway, so yeah. That's I'm like, what? <laughs> what is this stuff? Uh, but yeah, what would you like to do? Um, I'm just following everybody's lead. I think we need to go back to uh, Mr. Zord to see if he'll... Uh... Yeah, we got to finish up that business, whatever. Yeah. You know. mm -hmm. yeah go talk to the Black Staff and tell him that we've infiltrated... <laughs> his uh, operation as well. Or get confused who we're working for. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh... Guys, you know how many guild insignias I've got? I look like I'm wearing a Pandora bracelet. <laughs> Justrix is wearing them like bangles on a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so you return to uh, the circus, uh, the Sea Maiden's Fair. Uh, then, um, yeah, I, I assume you just go up to the captain like last time and ask for use the yeah. boats. Mm hmm. Yeah, so which, here. Come on. yeah, they would definitely let you do that. Let's see here. I take it you got our delivery from the little tiefling girl? I hear you. Uh, he says, uh, yeah, I uh, sent her over to uh, Zardoz's ship. Uh, give me just a second. Uh, or, uh, he pulls out the boat and says, uh, he's over there uh, waiting for you. Uh, I hear he's uh, below deck uh, with his uh, pets. Oh, um, DM, I apologize. Um, need to ask a question. Um, have we had a long rest? Yes, you have had a long rest since the... I'm right... Okay, am I right to, um, prepare my spells? Yeah, 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 okay. feel free. Thank you. Yeah, I'm still getting a map ready, so that'll be just fine. So yeah, they give you the same little keel boat and take you out. Uh, or yeah, you can row out uh, ships in the same spot. Uh, but yeah, this deck uh, hand over here says, "Ha, ah, welcome back." Uh, Zardos is down below. Uh, two decks, if you want to go talk to him. And then let's see. Before got... we go, before we go in. He's not naked again, is he? I don't oh, need uh, to see that. Uh, no, no, he's not. Thank you. 
had enough of naked people. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they uh, usher point over towards uh, the stairs over here and say he's down below. I'm singing the same sea shanty tune. Oh, the, the stairs up to the north of us? Uh, to the right of Pickle. Down this one here where he's walking. Man, why isn't ping working? This is frustrating. Oh, those are stairs? Yeah, here. Probably can't see them if you go there. Oh, there are. Okay, yeah, I can see them now. Yep. No, I can't see anything. Uh, are you switching maps? Yep, I'm just switching maps right now. Who let me, that is. There we go. Hang on. Well, here. I can just do this, and I'll just pull down Chithrix, and we'll just call it a day. Okay. Yeah, I said he's down two levels. Uh, but right now, you guys are in uh, the upper cargo hold. There's large uh, grilled doors in the ceiling that uh, look like they open up. And a 15 by 10 foot section of the floor seems like you could open uh, to, you know, deeper in the ship. Uh, there's crates and ceiling, uh, crates uh, stacked to the ceiling and are tied down. Hmm. But yeah, it seems like it's just mundane stuff, food and water, that type of thing. We need to go down another floor, don't we? Correct. That's what the yeah you were told. He was down two floors Oops, in the don't. lower cargo hold. That's. How do we get there? I'm... Oh, uh, just be down another. Oh, of stairs, okay. I didn't yeah. see that stairs. Okay. Where you're going? All right. What the fuck? Fuck <laughs> 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 uh... me sideways with a javelin. What is that? <laughs> uh, let's see here. That is. Guys, I've had enough of this one. I'm going home. <laughs> the uh, aft section of the hold of the eye catcher is guarded by four giant spiders, painted in bright colors. Uh, looks like he's, you know, talking to them like you would a trained animal. Uh, you know, he, uh, here, here, uh, sits and, you know, has a piece of meat or something, and when he sits, he tosses it to their mandibles. Um... <laughs> But yeah, he's just kind of feeding his giant spiders. Zah, there you are. I I uh, got the handkerchief. You guys did very well. Of course. We're much better than we look. I'm not. She's lying. <laughs> She's kind of a chronic liar. But that's okay. You're not okay. You'll see, you may be a day. <laughs> yes, I was very impressed by uh, uh, your uh, demeanor. I was talking to uh, uh, Adverentis, and she says that uh, you even saved her some, some, from some ruffians. I, uh, it's good to know you have good moral character along with uh, a light touch uh, as he you know, kind of takes the handkerchief out and uh, flips it around. Tutrix looks at him. Of course. Princess knows how to behave. We were bullying that poor little wee girl, and we sorted him out, so we did. Yes, well, yeah, I'm very pleased uh, with your help. Uh, and tell you what, he uh, reaches uh, behind him and grabs another uh, coin purse and hands it to you, Pickle, and says, Here, take this as a deposit towards... Uh, future endeavors that we have together and that uh, gives you another pouch that if you were to count it it would have 50 gold in it mm. and then uh, he also says uh, 
and uh, I think you might enjoy these too. And he hands you a uh, eight-sided set of charlatans die. What did he do? Uh, Cheat, and... I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can pull up the item description. Is it loaded dice? More or less. <laughs> uh, whenever you roll this six-sided die, you can control the number it rolls. So yeah, you just magically can think the number and it will be the number or something along those lines. Hey guys, do you want to go back to that fancy place we visited last night? <laughs> just, just looks down, looks yeah. over at him. Have your friend come play with us. She is good. Oh. Uh, yeah, he looks at the spider for a second and says, Oh, yesterday. Uh, yeah. Um, we be maybe. She's, uh, you know, uh, sleeping right now in bed. But uh, when I see her, I'll mention that you had offered uh, for a, a duetta, would it be? I think Mr. Chris would like to play with her as well, but... <laughs> You know, as the I have to say, Mister Chithrix is a purveyor of a circus. If you ever thought this adventuring life was too much for you, I could definitely make you one of my uh, main attractions. One does not make attraction Mrs. of a princess. I I, I apologize, madam. I, I <laughs> that was forward of me. <laughs> I just think that you know your lovely music should be shared with the world. All of a sudden it drops down into that death metal sound that she makes when she's hunting. <laughs> Whilst uh, this is all going on, can I cast Detect Evil? Sure. Everything within a 30-foot radius. Right. Um, yeah, no, interesting. Give me a second to do some reading. <laughs> and while you're doing that, I got a question. Are these spiders big enough to ride? Uh, I mean, they, a... yeah, oh, I mean, they're, yeah. mm. they're a large a beast, so they're the size of a horse. Excellent. Um, but yeah, he, <laughs> he actually does not, yeah, it's just like alignment, cool. good or evil, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, For the duration, um, you know if there is an aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or oh, undead. That's, that's right. right. It's by type. Um, no. No, yeah. No fey, fiends, undead, celestials, none are within uh, a bubble. Yeah, a 30-foot bubble. Yeah, I don't okay. even ping in that. I was going to say, that doesn't really do a lot of good if you're looking for good or evil. <laughs> yeah, no. It is kind of a misnomer now. Uh, yeah, it's kind enough. of like it's kind of like the find traps spell. Yeah, <laughs> that does nothing what it says on the tin. <laughs> it's like what? No. <laughs> so you found the trap. It's the spell. Um, <laughs> Tistrix is looking at these spiders, and she sings. She you know she drops from the angry hum to something mm -hmm. soothing, and she actually does perform. That way. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think you can perform it. Oh, nice. You know. uh, yeah, you seem to be taming the beast. They're, uh, you know, moving yeah. rhythmically uh, with you. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, but they seem to be trained spiders. Like they yeah, don't yeah. pose much danger. I, I'm just going up and checking them out and seeing how they respond. Are they just aggressive or you know? Just look like you know. No, no, they you know not really aggressive. They seem to be fairly tame. You know, you don't really feel the, yeah, a danger from them like, uh, you know, what mm. you would around a, you know, tame jaguar, or tame lion, where it's still, I don't want to poke it. Six of six walks up to him. You train beast well. How much? <laughs> how much to train a beast or how much for my spiders? How much for trained beast? Oh, um, well, everything's <laughs> negotiable. Uh, I... I don't know. It'd probably depend on the beast. They all, you know, take a, you know, different amount of times. But uh, well, what do you have in mind? I'm curious. Want to the dragon? <laughs> well, we all, we all would love a trained dragon. <laughs> Not this one. 
Oh, this you you mean you want this one specifically? And he points towards the giant spider. How well trained is it? And she walks right well, in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he would tell you. Uh, uh, he would say that. Uh, well, you know, if. Uh, if I were to order them to, they they could attack, but they really won't without uh, my word. Uh, but I've been training them since they were hatchlings. Show me. Uh, and then she walks right up to its face. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. He uh, gives uh, them a command. Um, it must be. See. She's like, it must be safe. <laughs> Here, give me a second to see what languages everybody knows. Well, I don't need to know languages. True, but if he was speaking a language, ah. I don't think you would uh, be able to understand it. Fair enough. But yeah, yeah, if yeah, he yeah. was intentionally trying to communicate with you... you That'd be different. Be okay, no, 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 that's cool. That's cool. Uh, okay. Just double check. Yeah, so yeah, we're our, yeah, nobody would know what he, uh, the language he was speaking uh, when he okay. said his, uh, uh, yeah, when he said uh, his command. Uh, um, but yeah, so he says, uh, yeah, they're actually very well trained. Uh, they'll even sit so still and he says a command uh where like it, it's still like to the point you're not even sure uh like it, it might be inanimate like it's not moving it's not breathing and then you know uh when he snaps his fingers it goes back to uh you know just kind of idle animation type uh hmm. moving breathing type thing <laughs> idle animation, but, uh... <laughs> idle animation. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, as long as it doesn't start doing all the right, Fortnite right. default dance, I'm all right. <laughs> well, I want to know, can they be trained as uh, mounts? Can you ride them? Yeah. Oh, uh, he says, actually, not, I haven't, these I have not trained uh, to be mounts, but uh, the dwarves in the Underdark uh, of, uh, uh, let's see... How to do this campaign? Gunthelgrim? Uh, <laughs> I think it's Gunthelgrim, this Hold one. On. Gunthelgrim, yeah, that, that sounds right. Uh, they uh, train, have uh, rideable, they call them steeders, uh, but yeah, they I, I've i trained these from birth to uh, be more circus attractions, not uh, beasts of burdens. So do you know, do they have a... Uh... These dwarves, do they have a contact here in the city where I'd be able to put in a request, maybe? Oh, um, well, you, you might be able to find uh, a way to contact. Uh, you know, Waterdeep sits over uh, a path to the Underdark. Uh, it's called the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Um, <laughs> but That's anything's not possible. Concerning. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you just go to the Yawning Portal. They have a big uh, uh, hole in the ground, and you go south for, uh, or go down for several hundred feet. Um, but yeah, he says this in the city water deep, anything's possible, but it, it'd probably be pretty expensive. We were told not to go down there because people don't come back. Uh, yeah, he kind of looks back and forth. Uh, well, uh, they do have some scarier things down there than, uh, you know, street riffraff. Might be a good place to make friends. Uh, yeah, he says, uh, you guys seem to be, uh, very useful, and, uh, I, I, uh, Yeah, he says, uh, you know, uh, 
I might be able to help you in other ways too. Um, you know, if uh, you were to start working for me more often. Um... Um, but yeah, he says, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of uh, firearms, um, but uh, <laughs> I might know a guy. <laughs> What, are you trying to get firearms? Oh, no. I was going to say, uh, you know, uh, maybe for some kind of uh, trade, uh, I could give you some. Uh, and he holds out a pistol, which is very close to the one you see from uh, the, uh, yeah, Prexies' pistol. All right. As, uh, but yeah, we, uh, you know, travel up and down the Sword Coast, and this is one of the uh, oddities that. Uh, We've come across. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. This is ringing some pickle bells. Is the Chris, did you get shot with one of those? <laughs> yes, yes, I might have gotten shot by one of those. Oh, oh, really? And you see some kind of, uh, actually, guys, do an invest, uh, or wait, uh, oh, yeah, uh insight check for me, if you guys are oh, saying this out loud in front of them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 25 actually might do it. Let me double check something real might quick. Might do it? <laughs> <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> 29. Uh, yeah, I think 29 does it. Uh, let's see here. Gosh, watch, she'll be just short. It was a DC 30. I'm, I'm my bad. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, DC is 24. Holy uh, crap. But <laughs> you see some wheels turn in his head, as you mentioned. You've seen a pistol that looks just like that before. And, so, you know, you can kind of see idea, you know, things are connecting. Uh, but he says, oh, oh, really? Well, uh... If you'd be interested, uh, I, I do have a pretty steady supply of uh, smoke powder and uh, things like that. I find they kind of give us an edge in the city. You know, things happen he, pretty quick. Is he kind of sounding um, uncomfortable right now? Like what he just heard might be like making him um, uncomfortable? Yeah, I mean, it's not so much uncomfortable, but you can kind of tell that there's plots and plans forming in the background of his mind. You know, you can see the mind is racing, but he's trying to keep, uh, you know, a light conversation. Hmm. Well, uh, but yeah, he's, you know, still light. Oh, well, you know, if you're interested, I could definitely get you some bullets. I find they're quite handy in the city. You know, you never know what riffraff you'll see uh, at night. Mm. Would they be any at the moment? Or is it the bullets? Ah. I stress poisoned. <laughs> but yeah. Kind of like from dead in the eye. <laughs> Yeah, I I might be able to find some poison bullets. Uh, they are just notoriously flashes, expensive. Chester's colors flash brightly. Ooh, a stinger. Uh, but yeah, he says uh, normally a poison bullet goes about uh, for two hundred gold a, a piece. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, for access, we'll be done nothing but <laughs> we'll get all the money so he can have all the bullets. Make the with the expense account showing <laughs> crap. Like, uh, that would be for uh, more. Actually, I have a whole table here that I'll give uh, show, give out to him when he gets back. 
yeah, yeah. Was like, we're going to send our friend to collect this debt. <laughs> Pickles medallion yeah, is starting to flash. <laughs> Why is your medallion flashing? Because Pickles not the the brightest bulb in the shed, but she's like mm -hmm. piecing together. Like it takes a while for her to for things to click in her head, and it's like. Hold on. So you got shot with one. And then he just happens to have them. I don't think so. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. I mean, a lot of people, um, you know, have those guns. They're not that uncommon, right? <laughs> um, well, they are, I mean, if you go up to Luskin, they're pretty easy to find. But this far south, uh, you know, they, they are pretty uncommon. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, you may even have known this guy. I think he was from the circus. <clears throat> really, really, I, <clears throat> I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, could you describe him? Yeah, he was wearing these. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lovely drow person. Quite, quite attractive, and deadly. And no dead. Mm. Quite a unique delicacy. Very flavorful. <laughs> One of her favorites, I think. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed, yes. I don't think we'll get enough this boat, are we? <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> So, I'm going to roll an insight check, and I'm going to see... Alright. This is All right, my guys, roll... smartest thing to do. Alright guys, roll out your backup characters. Yeah. <laughs> Practice okay. the come back and say, what the fuck? <laughs> uh. All right, so uh, you guys think about it, and if you either roll persuasion or deception, if you really think... He, he was inciting if you really plan on doing him harm, or if you are more in a teasing mode... Uh, but yeah, uh, if you think you guys are rolling initiative, but he's, he's not the one to escalate. I'm going to go to persuasion because I'm not intent on hurting yeah, him. I, I, I might believe he has something, he knows something, but I have no intention to harm him. Lady Chitrix is informing him of the situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oof. Okay. Uh, he got a one. Uh, he had plus five, but uh, rolling a one, I, I think he got it. So he's gonna say, "All right, okay." <laughs> <laughs> so just to be uh, completely upfront, I might not be who I said I was. I bet he's so terrible. really. I bet he's purple. I wonder if he, are you perchance a drow? I mean, she hasn't had any lately. I'm sure that she's uh, quiet. She's now just like openly like looking him up and down. Like, <laughs> what is uh, this? Let's see here. Do I have a picture I can throw up? I gotta have one somewhere. What did I tell you when we first... I bet he's got a fancy hat like us. <laughs> what? No. Yeah, he takes off his hat and... <laughs> 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 I grabbed a picture of him. Oh, wait, there you go. Just called it Carnival because I didn't want to put spoilers. Uh, but yeah, he doffs his hat, and you see in front of you ah, here we go. a drow male. Oh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. 
Tisha oh, kind of leans back saying. in her full hype, like, oh, <laughs> you are drow. <laughs> you are one. You are quite tasty. <laughs> mm -hmm. Somebody take the hat out and put it on. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I apologize because I have Pickle does the pickle thing and turns into a tiny version with our hat. <laughs> I feel like he would think it was really funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I will apologize if you guys have read the books because there's no I haven't, so I can't do this character that just. Oh no, that's fine. Deserves. That's fine. But he says, "Hello, my name is uh, Jarlax Banray." I am uh, the leader of uh, Bregan Dis Hearth, uh, which is uh, a group of uh, rogue uh, drow that have fled to the surface world. Insight check. Yep. Uh, go for it. <laughs> yep. Somebody, um, can you use bardic expression on yourself? No, I cannot. You want to uh, yeah. give it to me? Absolutely. Um... Thank you. Let me uh, switch to that side. Attributes. Come on. Nope. Inventory. Features. Sorry. Um, I got a target. God, these things are. Uh, what? Oh, what? Yeah. I forgot. Yeah, I don't yeah. have wisdom for shit. Um, why doesn't it all. Alright, why do I have a little uh, dot on my. Um, I was trying to target oh. you for my bardic inspiration. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah. I, was like I looked over and said, okay, okay, DM, why are you trans? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it, it says I'm out. Hold on, I've got to click rest. That's, it's all right. He, uh... He's trying to purple you. <laughs> he got an 18 on his persuasion, and you got 19 on your insights. Uh, he's actually being truthful. This is, uh, Jarlax, the leader of Breaking to Tarth. Uh, but yeah, he says, uh, <laughs> even though we are a group of, uh, drow, we've been uh, expanding our, uh, ranks to others. Uh, you know, so far, uh, you know, some other races like bugbears, you know, uh, but, uh, we'd be happy to get you guys in here as locals, uh, you know, that know the city. Huh. So, many creatures live here. Uh, well, so what it is, is uh, these ships uh, cast a spell on my men who are the crew, but uh, the uh, circus people, the carnies, they, they're unaware, and I would appreciate it if you, you know, you kept our secret. And, uh, you know, he kind of draws your attention to the spiders just you know reassuring like little look at them oh you know you're a good uh, good spider good good spider but yeah a little Those implied are... thread about keep my secret hmm. well I, I do have a couple of questions um so why are you bringing gazers into the city that's not exactly the smart thing to do i I think if that was one of uh, one of the rivals, maybe Zentharum are trying to attack me. Um, but how would the creature have your name? I mean, do, do, do you think it's that so complex that they would be trying to set you up by making it look like an accident? Uh, could be. There's there's actually a lot of st at stake right now in the city. Uh, I don't know if you you've heard, but there's actually a, a war going on between the Xanathar's Guild and the Zentharum. There's been blood in the streets. You're quite aware. Okay, so what about the um, assassin that was killing people coming off these ships? So, I don't know what you mean by killing people, but one of my lieutenants has gone missing, uh, and it's as many days ago as the when you killed the guy. Mm -hmm. Um, oh. I was just sending him in the city for reconnaissance, though. <laughs> what do you mean about about killing people? He tried to kill our friend. We had to defend ourselves. Your beast. Oh, he was stuck. He was stalking people. Your beast untrained. Your beast kill. I, 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 I didn't know anything about this. We put How beast down. How did you know him? I, I mean, fairly well. He'd worked for me for years, you know. I, I called him one of my lieutenants. I, I trusted him, you know, 
you in my absence she starts to Karen like up <laughs> a little bit you <laughs> let him in the street I'm yeah I'm sorry I thought better of him the mission was secrecy and you know he, he was drawing attention to us you make it difficult that, for bad. all Yeah, we don't need to cause more noise. There's already too much going on in the city. It's well, it probably doesn't look search. good to have a drow assassin running around killing people associated with you. No, uh, no, it doesn't. He well, it kind of makes you look mission. like he might just be lying. I mean, I know it sounds horrible, but if we work for you, what is to stop another one of them coming after us? Can you guarantee that won't happen? Yeah, they're my men. I will make sure if you're working for me that. Uh, well, he was one of your be... men, and he came after us. Well, I, if I'd known what he was doing in his uh, spare time, I, he would never have been one of my men. I'm, I'm glad you took care of him for me. But he, you know, really could have hurt my plans in the city. My hive always have better self-control than this. She just kind of <laughs> got it tested with him. Who are you working with? Go ahead. Um, who well, are you working with in the city to help you with this? Because you're not just coming here with no contacts in the government or anything, are you? Well, I've... Uh... You really think... A bunch of drow are going to be that are in here secretly are going to be received well. Well, I, I've been uh, contacting uh, the open lord, uh, Lateral Silverhand. Uh, we've talked about having just a, a meeting. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly, I, I, I do have a plan for uh, how to get the uh, legitimacy. Uh, might be uh, something you could help with. It seems like you guys are kind of sneaky. Um, are, are you? Do you guys think you could maybe steal something for me? Oh, that's a good thing to do. Just come into the city and steal something. What would that be? Well, um, have you heard the story of uh, Daggled Never Ember? I'm sure Pickle has. Um, that would be the former open lord of Waterdeep. Um, but yeah, guys, feel free to do a history check for me, and we'll see, because it it would have been a, a famous story, but, you know, a few years ago. Not bad. Titrix is, has no idea. She's not even trying. This is just babble yeah, no, in her head. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not <laughs> no talking to the spiders. Yeah. yeah, yeah she's yeah, like, no, no. yeah. So, <laughs> Pickle, oh. you don't really pay much attention to names. It didn't really mean much to you. But Curious, it's it was a pretty big scandal of uh, several years ago. Uh, the Open Lord of the Water Deep, which is kind of the uh, mayor of the city, for lack of a better term. Uh, essentially, there's one open lord that's known, and there's a council of masked lords, which are unknown uh, nobles of the city. Uh, but pretty much the head of the government, Daggalt Never Ember, uh, embezzled. Uh, the amounts, you know, are always inflated and things like that, but the number you hear the most is uh, he embezzled 500 thousand gold pieces from the government uh, well but, done yeah but uh, <laughs> it's like alright I like this guy um, <laughs> yeah the, the rumors say he hid it somewhere in the city uh, but he was found out and exiled uh, but then he moved to what was it Neverwinter uh, became their mayor, and uh, yeah, it's just kind of been living there since. But yeah, big, really big scandal. Hmm. Think we're going on a road trip? Well, I still want to know what exactly did you want us to do? 
Well, um, so I I came down here because I got word that uh, the key had been found uh, to uh, wherever he would hidden, uh, you know, this treasure. Uh, it's called the Stone of Glory. Um, I'm, I'm trying to find it, but, but, but for good reasons, not because I'm greedy. I was thinking I could use that money and give it back to the Open Lord and buy some goodwill because uh, the city of Luskin, which I run, it's always been kind of a lesser known and looked down city. I was thinking if I could buy myself into the, the Lord's Alliance, uh, which all of you would know is uh, an alliance of nobles uh, throughout the major cities of the war, uh, Sword Coast. But he's saying if I could buy myself into the Lord's Alliance, uh, you know, Luskin could rise and get stronger, uh, you know, safer for my people. Can I make I an insight was... check at this, please? I was going to say, I, I seem to remember Luskin being a den of thieves and assassins. Why I bother? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> you have no idea. This handsome man is so hard to read. Pickles just nodding along a green. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kyrus, you actually believe him, but you are also correct that Luskin is a den of pirates and thieves. <laughs> so, so you're telling me you want us to steal back a half a million gold pieces yes. and give it to you? <laughs> Minus your percentage, which I was thinking. Why should we take a percentage? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> really, really. I mean, five hundred thousand. Why should I we give you anything? Because you would be able to use my help and resources and i have five hundred thousand gold pieces i don't need your help <laughs> are we done here no. <laughs> <laughs> i i no, understand no, I, <laughs> I think I, I think uh 20 percent would be well i was thinking one 20 percent i'm thinking is what you were thinking <laughs> so 20 percent for you guys to split 80 percent for me I that would get me a little plus short of my gold. Plus the expenses. Right? Yeah. No, that makes but, sense. That makes sense. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking you guys agree with this? I mean, I shouldn't be just making this up by myself, you know. You think uh, 20% of 500,000 is enough? You just said a bunch of numbers that I don't understand. I'm just going to agree with you. You would be getting 20 there's a bit. If there's five of us, that's like you'd be getting like twenty two hundred thousand gold pieces. Uh, let's see. No, yeah. two two thousand. So five hundred thousand, and your cut would be twenty percent. So we multiply it by point two. One hundred thousand, right? Hundred thousand. Yep. Split. That's two hundred thousand. That's a yeah. That's twenty thousand a piece. Uh, piece. Uh, but uh, he says, "Tell you what." Um, if you uh, secure me the treasure, and in addition to that, I am also interested in. Uh, let's see if I can find it. <clears throat> I'm also interested in the staff of. Staff of uh, aha, God damn it, A H G H A I R O N, aga, Aaron. But it's yeah, like, like Chick, it's like Chick is trying to speak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, but yeah, he hears uh, says I. I hear the legendary staff of Aga Heron is uh, also within the horde. If you can secure me both, I think I can do twenty percent. 
What is the staff of Alga here? Ah, um, let's see. I, I hear uh, it's a legendary well, staff. I'm sorry, that was my history check for me. Oh, okay, okay. 17. Just if I know what myself. Oh, and it is kind of your is. background, because, yeah. Um, yeah, you would know uh, that Waterdeep has a, a magical wards on it. But don't let uh, no dragon can actually pass through these wards and get to the city. Uh, the staff is what maintains these wards, <laughs> and also Jesus, the staff dude. can uh, set exceptions to uh, the rule as well. No. Uh, <laughs> this isn't a little important. <laughs> Oh, and also just for fun, the staff has ten charges. While holding it, you can cast the command spell. Uh, you know, just as another fun little bonus. But yeah, the main thing is it can let dragons in and out of the city. I want that staff. And, <laughs> and I want to know, what do you want that staff for? I I just, well, since I hmm. don't have all the gold, I, I need some way to up the ante. I feel like that'll tip uh, the balance to my favor. Oh, by threatening them? Just returning a lost them? artifact. Mm. Well, uh, mm. I mean, mm. if it gets the I job done. I don't think so. <laughs> so you're, you're saying you're not interested <laughs> in the deal? In the, giving you the staff that'll let you have access for anything or anybody into the city? So I could return it to Lateral Silverhand, and then out of gratitude, she will make Luskin part of the Lord's Alliance. Can you hit me with tell the Lord Lord of Never Ever, please? She will tell Lord Never Ever to fuck off and kick him off, I'm hoping. <laughs> oh, my insights sucked. Never mind. <laughs> you seem sincere. Oh... I'm thinking this one we're going to have to think about. Do you guys, I think the whole group fish? needs to be involved in this discussion. Uh, do, can we not steal something small for you in the meantime? <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I'll I'll have some more uh, requests and things like that. I'm still trying to locate this stone, but. I don't know. I, I hear the Xantharim had it. I think the Xanathar's Guild is trying to steal it from them as well. But I've also heard other things like the, the Grey Hands are in play and maybe the Lord's Alliance. It, it just seems to be a clusterfuck. I, it, you know, everybody going after the same thing. <laughs> Nobody knows where it is. If... I think just give... Okay, go ahead. Oh, just... Uh, Tiktrix is just like, okay, I guess this is what we're doing. She looks at the guy. If another of you go rogue, be sure to tell Tiktrix. I take care of him. Sure. I, and I appreciate no you taking care of my problem uh, before it got out of hand. You know, I, I did, having the city watch sniffing around for dark elves could have really uh, messed things up for me. Um yeah, I, I I don't actually know where the stone is now. That's why I was sending uh, my lieutenants out to the city. Um, but once I know, I'll I'll let you guys know, and I might have some other small jobs in the meantime. I think we need okay. to discuss this with everyone. Yes. Are there more? This of is you? this is too big. We have a couple that are on sabbatical. Did all this at half half strength? This only half of Hive. Huh. Yeah, he seems to look thoughtful, uh, realizing this is on the whole crew. <laughs> I think you guys would be much better friends than enemies. I, I hope we can work in the future. Hmm. I can hope you don't try to destroy the city. I don't. I'm just trying to return to them what is already theirs. They just don't seem to be able to find you, it on their own. So maybe... Do you, in... really, do you really think that... I, you're a drow. Do you really think they're going to trust you? They don't have to trust me. I'll, I'll have the gold. So they can believe it with their own eyes. But I... Luskin's not as bad as you guys think. I know we have <laughs> a bad rap. 
but it's actually really beautiful in the summertime. <laughs> Guys, I read in a book once about a place called Detroit, and everyone says that's not bad. <laughs> I mean, it can get cold in the winter, but there's about two months in the summer where it's beautiful. Beast, well trained. Chichik's impressed. Can you get Beast from Thay? Oh, uh, what kind? I mean, I, I know a guy who, who sells pseudo dragons, or wh what were you thinking? Hmm. Whatever you find, you tell me. I will consider pseudo dragon. I can reach out to some contacts. They don't live. It might take me some while, a while, but yeah, it's something I can look into for you. Hmm. You know, uh, you do me a favor, I do you a favor. It's you know, it helps everybody. Just hmm. sing through town on occasion and find you, and that's it. She kind of wanders away. <laughs> <laughs> everybody buying pets. They have one. <laughs> I mean, I think you'd like to have a pseudo dragon, wouldn't you? What's a pseudo dragon? A little tiny dragon. <laughs> They're much more easier to obtain than a real dragon. Well, I guess, I mean, they are real dragons, just... <laughs> Seeing I mean... Pickle, she just goes, Does Lady Pickle wish to have pseudo dragon? Oh, no, cause, I mean, that means I've got to take it for walks and stuff. I mean, they're pretty intelligent. They can take care of themselves. You know, it's just like a dragon. They can speak and stuff. She looks at the guy. Well trained, not abused. Uh, yeah, no, it's not some kind of uh, pseudo dragon mill like uh, they have down in uh, Baldur's Gate. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking for a, you know, purebred here. She wants a purebred, whatever it is. Guys, it, uh, this is a big commitment, so I'm going to have to think about it. Now, these are rescue pseudo dragons from the shelter. Yeah, and a bit from, the, from the all the evil blend. wizards. <laughs> from Luskin. One, one of them is swallowed a bouncy ball, and he's got three legs and a gibby eye. Uh, and needs so... somebody to love him just as much as a, a, a healthy pseudo dragon uh but yeah he says uh here just so my people will know that uh you work for me he hands each of you guys a peacock feather <laughs> as a action <laughs> insignia <laughs> she just... run out of places to put this shit and uh she tacks say... it in with her other feathers <laughs> that she wears all the time <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> And then say, uh, he also says, and also just to sweeten the pot, he pulls out, uh, we'll say, three common health potions. He gives you those as well. Uh, but yeah, he's saying, uh, if you guys hear anything about this uh, Stone of Glora, I would uh, be nice if you let me know. As he hands over the health potions. Hmm. All right, I got my downtime. <laughs> oh. And we take one each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I'll say three, yeah, I'll yeah, three health potions for the people that are here. Yeah. And I'm keeping the fifty gold pieces for expenses. <clears throat> well, we're, for for us, I'm, I'm taking them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And yeah, I'm giving it uh, back. Yeah, yeah. There's fifty at the beginning of the mission, and then fifty at the end of the mission. It was kind of a, you know, here's for future expenses. All right. So 100 right. gold pieces total? Yes. Okay. Right. And then, yeah, he's offered to buy bullets for Perexes, but, uh, yeah, the table I have, they're pretty expensive. Right. But, but it's, a, you it's know, a contact. It is a contact. Uh, yeah, you don't want them. Yeah, yeah. Not a hmm. common thing here, and that did a lot of damage. On, excuse me, when the fuck you shot me with that damn thing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, so yeah. Maybe a good thing to know about. I can't believe that's a first level, like a second level. Weapon. I know. It's like, god damn, <laughs> what does that amp up into? 
Yeah, no, there were little hints in there of how the, you know, they said that if I thought it was overpowered, I could say that the poison reacts to sunlight and they all drain away, but it didn't really seem to be too overpowered, you know. Uh, it's just that one shot. I mean, everything was yeah, okay. Yeah, especially that... since it has the reload property. It's not like you can, you know, cantrip it, you know, Gatlin gun it out or anything like that. There's, you know, mm. costs and benefits to it. You gotta spend some resources. But if I, like, stacked feats into it, I mean, it'd take a while to get there, but, you know, like, uh, crossbow yeah. expert and uh, firearms expert, I think, those stack beautifully. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and having a second yep. set of arms to do that with. Yeah. No, so, he's being a armor artificer, which I've played before. So he'll have mm. uh, option A, where he has a lightning launcher gun uh, in stealth mode. God or have damn. option B where he's melee mode with thunder gauntlets. Yeah, it's just a cool Iron Man build. It's oh, this is going to be so fun. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. That's, uh, that, that sounds like a really nice royal stinger. <laughs> uh, I, I, I won't get greedy, but man, that, that is sweet tasting. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, fun. <laughs> oh my god yeah, it's, a lot, it's a lot different from the ones that are predominantly combat it's nice mm -hmm. you know yeah that you know, have talking to somebody before matter. you start shooting <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and, and everything else you just walk into oh look at there people are shooting Mm -hmm. it, it's yeah it's kind of nice to be able to like diffuse and change the situation <laughs> you know on our feet um, well, yeah, and there's also like, hey, this ruffian just punched a child in the face. What yeah, you know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going right down. down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's just it's it's fun. Um, God, mm -hmm. street justice. <laughs> I'm taking I'm, I'm pickle taking style Reed, we're off the boat by now. <laughs> um, actually, before you go, uh, one last thing is Zardoz would say uh, so. Just for complete transparency, or oh, not sorry, no, sorry. Uh, I I didn't actually want to play a trick on uh, my friend with that handkerchief. Uh, they work for Lateral Silverhand, the Open Lord. I was hoping to maybe use some scrying on them, and you know that was going to be uh, an item that they uh, personally had, so it made the spell a lot easier. You just wanted to peep on her in the shower, didn't you? <laughs> no, I, I, I wouldn't Would do that. Would you lie to me? Uh, but yeah, I, I have secured a meeting with the Open Lord. Uh, I might contact you soon and have you guys, you know. Keep an eye out. Not, you know, you know, I don't mean muscle, but maybe if you were nearby. Princess, <laughs> she looks at him. Princess Tithrix, need introduction to Waterdeep soon. Thank you. And he, just it, it, very kind of weird, like what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he would just want to say that that before he let you go. Just uh, yeah. But yep. And then, yeah, I guess you guys can head back to the hideout. And we're yeah, about what I wanted to know is, yeah, you know, we we, we we did this on the behest of the Black Staff. Correct. So, what do we want to tell them? <laughs> I don't. I mean, we're talking a hundred thousand gold pieces. Well, I, well, I mean, we're set. We can do anything with them. Well, please. Well, there... 20,000 gold pieces a piece. Well, we do that anyway. Well, I, I don't think we have to ask permission, but we can, you know, after it's done and we have all the gold, we can inform them. <laughs> 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 you know, I, 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 there's no well, particular we order. This one. Like, uh, yeah, sorry. Okay, yeah, we this is what's going thread. on. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry we yes, had to take our too, feet. Uh... <laughs> Just to throw a wrench in it. Uh, it's for fun. Have everyone do a history check. Oh no! Oh. 
It's so close to 15, but... That's 15. Oof. Naturally, what? Yeah, it was, you what? Know, was... <laughs> All right, pickle. And out of the mouth uh, of babes. She lives here, damn it. Yeah, that's true. She does live here. So it kind of clicks in your head. This sounds suspiciously like the mission the Xanatharks grabbed or gathered you all together for. There's a key that's being uh, fought over by the Xanathar and the Xantharum. It's to a vault that has a lot of riches. It occurs to you on the walk back that there seems they sound like it might be the same quest from two different people. Hmm. What if we hey, screw you... them all? Yeah, what I if we just I... screw them all? Okay, they... <laughs> <laughs> on the table. 500,000 gold and the staff to control the freaking city. What okay. can we do with that? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That... Yes. I was all on board for that. I was all on board when we was just working for one person, but now we're working for like five. Six. No, 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 no. I think we. I say. No, I no. Say I we just you, screw I... them all. Why uh, don't we keep we, it? Let us. I, I vote we make the fuck your faction faction and just do it ourselves. Just for That's what saying. We... Here's all of you all. Here's all of you. And she goes, I princess. My hive must rule all of these. <laughs> That's fine with us. Yep. They How work. would you like 100,000 gold pieces? That will buy a lot of them. A lot? That's why I say, I say we play them all. Play them all along. And then at the end, we just keep everything for ourselves. We've got the staff to control the city. They won't do anything because we could fuck them up. Hmm. Even Chithrix like understand leverage. Chithrix like Kiris. <laughs> She's kind of <laughs> makes this twitchy, twitchy, dark, like sinister laugh. Oh, I like this plan. <laughs> Chithrix hive already strong. I've got a headache. Now. <laughs> <laughs> This was a, this was a good day. This was a weird day. <laughs> <laughs> now all I have to do is find a riding spider. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. That was going to be interesting. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I was hoping to have a bigger audience for the reveal of Jarlax, but you know. yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was good for balancing because I knew you guys could take on two thugs. It, it, it yeah, it, it kind of it flowed well with the story. Um, yeah. yeah. I also forgot to heal myself six points in that damn fight. I forgot when I have that. Um, oh yeah. Uh, oh. The thing yeah, you took out the character with the damage, the... I get six hit points back every time uh -huh. I kill somebody. <laughs> every they die, when they die, I get six. I yeah. get six hit points back, so it right. wasn't as dire as I thought it was, but I just forgot about it. Uh, we'll what try... level do you get your what level do you get your spec to? Six? I think that's sixth level. Oh, sixth level. God, yeah. I forgot about that shit. That's <laughs> gonna be yeah. incredible. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna yeah. be what so you see weird. Some of the spells I have a tent have a uh, have a I want to get animate dead. I, I, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna <laughs> look. I'm just gonna let it surprise me. <laughs> You know, it's I've seen some of the lists and stuff, and it, I just know it's going to be epic. It's this is great. <laughs> oh my god, this is so interesting. Um, I can't wait till I get past without a trace, and then I, I have a plus twenty-two for stealth. <laughs> I know it's just this is going to be ridiculous. Uh, and, and yeah, so I I my distractions are going to be like of things of legend. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go go big or go home. Well, the best thing is next level when I get my um, subclass. None of the party is going to know where I am. Oh no! It's like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. Doing like Ranger uh, the Stalker one. Gloom Stalker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Anytime he's in dim or dark, dim light or darkness. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, but well, keep in mind they also except, can't target you with target you with spells if they can't see you with a lot. Yeah, of they can't heal you or anything though. Well, you can heal yourself. Oh yeah, no, I'm. I'm, I'm a healer. <laughs> yeah. 
That was that was training when I just put pickle on the broom. <laughs> it's like, all right, <laughs> this is where you're probably going to be. <laughs> Wreak havoc. <laughs> It's just, it's the chaos factor will be amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Flying yeah, yeah. invisible artillery piece. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, All eyes on me. All eyes on me. <laughs> uh, Kira's going around stealing everything that ain't nailed down. Although you're pretty uh, strategic with it. I, I'm impressed. Oh, man. <laughs> Here is going to buy himself a harem. Oh, this is I, I love it. Yeah, this you know. Uh, if, 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 yeah, the the rogue player in me is really envious of him right now. It's like, God damn, yes, that's great. <laughs> oh man, lucky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> But so far, I'd say everybody's got their time, and I'm loving it. It's great. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was fully prepared for, uh, you know, oops, all rogue party, but it's nice to have, uh, you know, the balance of different classes. Um, and I, once Kevin does play again with all the weird shit and level ups and mm -hmm. everything, it's going to be entertaining to watch him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Artificer has a fun bag of tricks. Yeah, that's going to be. And he's pretty good at playing that sort of shit, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. I mean, he plays a wizard in the other game, so it's, he knows spells and how to use them creatively. But and this is uh, a lot of overlap with the wizard's uh, spell list. And I don't know how pickle works, but she does. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so much fun. Um... Well, pickle was originally going to be a full cleric, but I played a full cleric in my last campaign. The, the last cleric I paid was um, an ASMR Tempest cleric, and he was me. Clerics can be pretty brutal. <laughs> uh, Ke Kevin plays a cleric, uh, and it's the most bloodthirsty fucking cleric I've ever seen. <laughs> he is a murdering tornado. <laughs> it's astonishing. I've got a... Um... A grave cleric slash uh, divine soul sor sorcerer. Uh huh. That's a halfling. Has luck, second chance, halfling's luck, and then I've got like three spells that and, yeah. do the spell. And it's like I'm going to piss my GM off so much. Oh, oh yeah, I've yeah. Got, because like, <laughs> that that is that is so the many ways to re-roll dice. And and, so and, and lose track of them. And, and you, you start, yeah, you, know, you get become a jack of all skills. Oh my God, that's. And, and I got a, I've got a reaction skill that lets me do the same thing for anybody within thirty feet of me. I can let them roll a dice, re-roll a dice. Oh it's, yeah, I had that oh, with my uh, halfling bard. It's yeah, I only played him for a couple sessions at that level. But yeah, it was and, well, really and this fun. is of course Red's campaign, but you know it's like he has all those extra spells that he lets you use. Holy yeah. shit! I'm like, I got instead of I didn't I didn't take counsel to um counter spell because there's oh, a it's so force, bad. Uh, th but there's a force retro um redistribution or whatever it's called that it's uh -huh. third level. It's just like counsel, but in, if you if there's below the level that you cast, you can uh -huh. direct that spell to go wherever you want it to. So you can yeah. redirect the spell right back at them. Yeah. Just by, it's like, oh, damn, if I, mm, 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 he's not going to be happy mm -hmm. with me. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so many, so many little things, and it's like, uh, it's it was getting hard as a sorcerer. I'm mainly a sorcerer trying to figure out what spells I'm going to take, because there's just a massive amount in his um, campaigns. Yeah. Uh, he really, he really enjoys like all those. Uh, he gets like the DM's Guild, like third, yeah, all that. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, yeah. yeah, like all the, but it's like all the, uh, you know, herbalism things and yeah. you know, uh, stuff like that. It, it, yeah, it, it, yeah. Like, the harvesting. 
uh, mm. from bodies and stuff like that. From I don't know. I've just never been a crafting mini game type of a player. Like that's a part of Skyrim I never explored. Yeah. Like I would rather be stabbing things with my sword than yeah. you know. I mean, I don't mind the harvesting part of it. You know, you can turn around and sell it to somebody for really good money. Well, yeah, you know? especially but when you kill a that. dragon and it feels like if I kill a dragon, I should be able to cut out its you know poison sacks or whatever it yeah. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That, that, that was, yeah. like, from first edition, we were doing that shit. So, yeah. It's like, all right, yeah, you oh, get this, you can make shit out of it, you know? But that was a DM's uh, discretion yeah, thing. Yeah, it feels like dragon hide is something that would be valuable. Yeah. I should be able to skin a dragon. Yeah. All the yeah. scales. Oh, dragon oh, scales used to be worth a ton. <laughs> yeah. Uh, DM. Yeah. Can I make my bakery roll, please? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Either that would be a downtime, or uh, I've never heard of that. The bakery roll? What? Do you, what kind of rolls do you play with? We got bakery rolls here in my uh, homebrew. Oh, is, it a, is it a bakery roll roll? No, yeah, he bought the bakery roll that, or the bakery. So that, he's uh, rolling the for the bakery roll. Yeah, it's a bakery yeah. roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's a bakery roll roll. Yes. yes. <laughs> bakery roll. Roll full sandwich. <laughs> Berkeley, yeah, roll, roll for the roll. <laughs> roll for sandwich. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So you got to roll a D100 to see how well it goes. And the you got to put in uh, 20 gold for maintenance costs. I paid 120 gold up front. That's right, you did. Okay, so 24... Table. I don't think that went well. <laughs> that is that is not a high number. Uh, let's see, twenty four. You must pay the business's full maintenance cost for each ah, of the day. Oh, so no profits over uh, the week. Okay, because it's a loss. Wow, because you have to pay the full maintenance cost. What? Yeah, so loss? yeah, he pays the. Uh, uh, weekly maintenance on it, but yeah, it did not produce a profit. Pickle, pickle, pickle burnt those biscuits at an epic level. Uh, <laughs> she knocked a, the whole business out shop. with it. <laughs> yeah, it's just a shop, so it's like uh, two gold a day. Uh, so you're just out twenty gold, and but you did uh, pay a little bit ahead. You that overpaid fine. for the shop, but yeah, yeah. But yeah, I bought the bakery. <laughs> <laughs> yep. A uh, hard-working Ouch. single mom orc with her half-orc child. <laughs> hey, we went out, we go out on spa days. Yeah! Now you just need to find some dust of deliciousness. <laughs> <laughs> We've been making life berry cookies. There you go. I probably sell it really well. Yeah. If it healed you and filled you up with a day's worth of nutrition. Well, what I was thinking was, if... Instead of bumping my decks, I was going to give Pickle the chef feet so you could have infinite <laughs> snacks for short rests. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and with a bard in the party, you'd really uh, benefit from short rest. You got the song yep. of rest, plus your little uh, tarts. Yep. And... and then on a long rest, you get temp HP as well. Yep. Yeah, that's a pretty good feat. Uh, you know, not the strongest out there, but it can definitely combo with a lot of things. Yeah, and especially if somebody gets inspiring leader. There's some charismatic people in here. Yes, there are. And isn't that based off intelligence, though? Uh, uh, I thought inspiring uh, leader was a charisma. It's a charisma base. It's charisma base. Yeah. So you know, yeah, <laughs> that's a half feat, if I believe, isn't it? It is, yes. So you get what, plus one to charisma, plus it? Plus one to charisma, plus... Uh, you, like, make a speech and you roll and they get the temporary hit Ten. points from the roll. Yeah, it's yeah. at your level. I think it's two times your level or something. I'm not sure. Or your... Um, I think it's something to do with, like, your proficiency bonus or something. Uh, something like that. Uh, yeah, because yeah. if it's based on my charisma and I keep pumping it up, that, that could, you know, mean something. <laughs> You know, uh. I would I would like to give um, Pickle a belt of storm giant strength for a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
If you get the treasure, you can buy a lot of joke items. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. I'm tempted to go out and just buy an alchemy jug. <laughs> Uh, Perexes can make one, uh, with his artificer stuff. Holy but shit! Only create... Yeah, but at this level, he can only make two items at a time, so he might be holding those slots. For yeah, 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 yeah. Like, my artificer character, I had an alchemy jug as one of the options, and if we were doing, like, downtime days, I would, uh, activate that over, like, plus one to armor, or, you know, some of the other ones. I know his homunculus servant's at least filling one of those slots. I think the bag of holding's filling the other. Now you guys have a, a bag of holding you got, like, level one. Yeah. Yeah, that was, like, the one of the first quest rewards. Was yeah, man, that's, a, that's how we, like, m m move with bodies, you know? <laughs> Just oh, pull yeah. it out of the bag, <laughs> remember that? <laughs> We've been using it as a porter coffin. Yeah. <laughs> Board a cop and you know. <laughs> well, that's one way to put it, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, is, it is quarry retrieval. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh. Yeah, I think I might recruit one more player, but I'll be picky about it since I know what the group is like and what it needs, you know, to a degree. As long as they're adaptable, yeah, I, I think I think we can adapt to just about anything. I mean, right. Well, it's one of those I'm kind of running out of side quests. I mean, I do have another one that I want you guys to do, but it definitely, like, touches on some Perexy stuff. So yeah. So for him to come back for it. Yeah. Well, I think he is back after this for a little bit anyway, so. Mm -hmm. This is, summertime's hard for this whole crew. So. Ah, uh, sure. Well, you know, yeah, I don't expect to have your full time and attention and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Uh, but it's been fun. I don't want to stop playing. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. I like the way it's progressing. Yeah. It's like, yeah. And I'm glad uh, you followed up on that drow clue, or I tried to uh, lay some bread crumbs for that. No, cause... I, I kept rolling so freaking low on everything. It's like <laughs> you know, send, I sent my guards in. They all come back. Oh, didn't see a damn thing. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. No, we, we were on big damn lunch break. You go I mean, I personally, I personally was sitting here saying, God damn it. I know there's something here. <laughs> right. I, 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 it was out of total innocence that I was commenting on eating that drow. It did not even occur to me. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One of his lieutenants was a serial killer, and he just doesn't know it. Yep. Like, they just have such a grudge against the surface elves that he was just, yeah, turned into a serial killer. Yeah, they're all tasty. All right. Then, <laughs> yeah, the gazer is just a Guy random like the city dark meat. encounter. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, the gazer is just a random city encounter. But I'm like, I need one more breadcrumb for this trail. <laughs> so I'm going to sub in this character for who he's uh, trying to kill. Yeah, no, that's how it's, you know, it's good. It flowed well, too, so. Mm -hmm. I'm just going back through the chat. Pickle has had four nat twenties this session. <laughs> <laughs> Bounces out all those like ones and twos we were having at the beginning. Jesus yeah. Christ! Uh, nah, it's it's uh, I, I like it. It's you know we, every time we just kind of get to lean into one person's strengths. It's great. <laughs> No, this I'm thoroughly enjoying this one. This is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well it allows, I mean, like, it allows it to do so I've, much uh, different stuff too, you know. Yeah. Well, and it helps I've run Dragon Heist like all the way through twice. Oh, so then, you know like, this bits place. And pieces a couple times. All right. Yeah. So that's one of those like, okay, this is the setting that I know the best off the top of my head, and I can just uh, slot. I mean, you know the. It gives you so yeah, much right I mean, on hand. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's it's written right. that if, where, if you yeah. want, you can hook shit together easy. It really is where a lot of the side quests loop you back into the main quest and things like that. But yeah, I could just kind of jettison like the first chapter out of it. Yeah, and, I mean, it's know, just made yeah, you it's... one of uh, yeah, made you one of the bad guys, you know, one of the villains uh, crew, essentially. Yeah, Tarmogen would have a fun time in River. 
or yeah, in uh, yeah, this would be <laughs> like Waterdeep. his water deep. Yeah, he'd be like, oh yeah, I'm home. I don't think he'll ever get there again, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shoot, oh. yeah. I don't know if you guys will ever get out Barovia. Oh my god. Even close to this point, like, is there is is there uh, might be out of the tunnel? <laughs> we are closing in on the Amber Temple finally. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I was uh, kind of skimmed through your guys' last YouTube because uh, uh, I was just kind of bored one day. Right. But, yeah, I kind of listened to, you know, two minutes here, fast forward a little bit, a, little bit, listen yep. a few minutes there. We fought a big goat. Yeah, on that bridge. And then we, <laughs> there's some big arcane, like, gatehouse blocking the road with a bridge, and there's a rock. And we're mm. like, yeah, okay, we're just going to friggin' bulldoze our way straight through. Take everything on yeah. head on and just keep going. We blew the yeah. goat off the mountain and started an avalanche, kept going. Mm -hmm. We got to the gate, blew our way through it, killed everything there, threw a baby off a cliff or no, something like that. I mean, what? just. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's a very combat Don't heavy that campaign. To pickle. Uh, hmm? Well, it was, it, was a, it was a dead baby already. So it had been dead a thousand years <laughs> at this point. And it's throwing throwing hands at us so yeah no <laughs> yeah he's really big into the homebrew and body horror type things like yeah 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 definitely yeah. fought uh gosh what was there something with the baby's head or where am i thinking about critical role no no we, uh, well it, weird you weren't there stuff. no in uh in the basement of the death house was basically a baby controlled shambling mound that you had to kill yeah you had to kill the baby head in it <laughs> it's like oh my god really yeah. or there's uh, zombies with flayed skin, so they fly around like flying squirrels holding their, their flayed skin. chest yeah. open and things like that. Just like, oh, Jesus, why are you making me? Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm going to have nightmares. Their innards <laughs> spill out and crawl after you. They're like a swarm of snakes. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, Barovia's so dark. Why are you adding a homebrew to make it darker? Uh. <laughs> but then, yeah, now, now Tarman's just this explosive nuclear build. He's built to do the sneak attack, thunderous smite, green frame blade, um, and something else. You know, it, it, there's another one that stacks too. Like, or if he does it with shadow blade, there's psychic damage on top of that, and the damage. Shadow blade's one of my favorite spells. And it's always <laughs> dim in Barovia. You know, so yeah, mm -hmm. he's like he's hitting for eighty and more <laughs> per hit. <laughs> it's like it's. Yep. Oh. It's fun. Start one shotting all the uh, mobs. Yeah. You remember the abbot? I do. He sucked. I'm glad you killed him. Yeah, I basically <laughs> one shotted him at the end. People were throwing around, throwing hands with him. He had just got to bloodied, and I walked up, and it's like after three or four rounds of combat, and I hit him once, and he went down. <laughs> and it's like we're done. So satisfying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> of course, Strahd was there and all the shit. So. Uh. Oh, don't forget to top up your life berries. Oh, yes. Oh, and I have to stop recording so I don't record all night's worth of nothing, which I do on <laughs> the game, too.